Good evening, welcome to a meeting of the Darien Architectural Review Board. Today is Tuesday, November, November 14th, 2023. The members here present tonight are David Humphrey, our Vice Chair, um, Alex Lopetensky, Anya Janis, uh, Christina Hart, and myself, Elizabeth Geiger, as Chairman. First on the agenda tonight, we have two items for old business. Um, we'll start with ARB 40 2023, which is for Cloud 10 at 54 Boston Post Road. Gentlemen, welcome. Please up to the podium and introduce yourself. You'll be speaking tonight. I'm uh, Bruce Beinfield from Beinfield Architecture, the uh, architect on the project. And I wanted to start by, um, by apologizing to um, <clears throat> to um, the Architectural Review Board and the Sony staff because I, I think I failed to take some of your comments as literally as they were given and that's why um, and I'm basing my that on, uh, on just the, the, what the staff and the chairman pointed out that the design that, that we came up with is a little bit different than what you were expecting so um, um, let me take you through the thinking there so we can talk about what's, um, where to go with this um, so we um, at the last meeting um, uh, you had uh, suggested that that some of the more uh, sculptural um, design options uh, might be appropriate in, in this case, this location uh, on the post road, and um, uh, and did in fact point to this image as as um, the one that you um, felt best about. And I didn't pick on up, uh, on that exactly, but I um, although in response to that we did start to look at that scheme and came up with this is a rendered image of <coughs> of that which um, I was having issues in terms of the way these <coughs> panels come together and and the way the joints would align because we had also talked about this being that iconic building and and the uh, Apple store was referenced um, during that prior presentation and based on one of the wonderful things about the Apple stores is just they're so um, it's so refined that there's no detail that's not considered and that's that's why it's you know, it's such an elegant you know, typically such elegant buildings uh, so as we were looking at this I was having issues on how the joints of the different panels come together and the pieces and it was as we started to lay it out on the computer, it, it wasn't <coughs> it wasn't working as well as I had wanted it to in terms of when you the way uh, uh, these panels are larger than the individual pieces and the way the pieces come together was looking a little bit messy to me. So based on based on that. Uh, where we went was to, um, as an alternate, uh, was to, um, in this direction, was this, which is still <coughs> bold and, uh, and sculptural and slightly provocative image, what, um, what uh, I liked about this scheme is this is a simplicity of it and the fact that it's still um, that it, it's still given that simplicity would still catch your eye and 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 be a little bit provocative and also liked the simplicity of the building in relationship to how it will actually be perceived from the post road and um, this is this is a rendering uh, from uh, from the post road that shows that there's there's the trees on the post road there's the vacuums that are that are in the foreground of the building 
all of which are um, you know, relatively active. So given, given that kind of uh, activity, um, I was feeling better about the, the building behind that just being a very simple form. Um, so this is from the, uh, from, from the father's truck. <coughs> this is a uh, close-up of that, and this is in between. So three different views. Um, but, but given the comments, um, you know, we're, uh, we want to build in that everybody feels good about. So uh, given what I just said, I'd be very interested in hearing some feedback from the board. Uh, it reminds me of a site project. Mm. Yes. Pardon? Site. Yes. Site. Site. Yeah. Huh. I, I, so, uh, 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 whether you yeah. like say or not, but it just uh, was a, immediately the, what was evoked when I saw that particular image. Um, I, I right. like the simplicity of it. I mm -hmm. think, and I actually like the way um, the panels kind of are sort of driving into the ground, though, because of the angle of the building. And, and the we, compression uh, and the expansion from, you know, the coming in and coming out for the garage. My, my issue, I, I'm struggling with the size of the panels and the joints. I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's too monolithic. There, it needs some, some, some subtractive some, element. Yeah, as perhaps. as perhaps. shown, those panels are four feet high by uh, 12 feet long. So they are, they are big panels. And they're consistent that the entire facade is <coughs> that size. I mean, it's just, I think just the perspective, it almost looks like they diminish or something as they... Yeah, I think it's just the perspective. This, this side is um, actually 16 feet above the ground, okay. and this is uh, 30 feet. Okay, and the panels are consistent. This so, um, this um, and these are like a fiber cement or um, aluminum or uh, what? It would be the same material that we presented. I, I wasn't at the last oh, meeting. Uh, so it's a, a composite, an aluminum composite Got it. panel. Similar okay. to similar to what the uh, Range Rover yeah. Land Rover yeah. has. Yeah, that, those are nice. I mean, I always appreciate your vision, Bruce. I mean, you do such great stuff. Um, I, I was a little concerned seeing it on the page. Maybe it's, it felt maybe it's flat on the page. Um, maybe in situ, it will feel more alive and sculptural. I just was worried that driving by it. This it'll look like a big box that's sinking into the ground on one side, um, and maybe it won't. I don't know. I mean, if you guys are passionate about this and you love it and clouds behind it, then maybe this is your thing. Um, I don't want to take away that dream, the vision. Um, I did have hopes for the original one, though. It seemed like it was. It definitely you wouldn't misread that was. You know, like a well, like a. a, a I mean, I'm that, wondering like. You know, just, uh, and I know you guys have looked at this a bazillion different ways, but with, with the way that is kind of driving into the ground, if, like, if some something's sort of like impacting the ground, there's usually a little bit of a, you know, it, there's a response as it comes into the ground, and it almost seems like it's, you know, such a, such a definitive wedge shape, like, if it's coming down where you're actually exiting, it, that's where it actually kind of, Acknowledges the ground or something, yeah. or something along those I think that's lines. Be all like uh, what, what armor yeah, I guess that first right image. Yeah, yeah, minus. Yeah, but but it, that one has you know the horizontal lines. Mm -hmm. I think the fact that in, on what you've developed, it has you know that the panels are are driving along with it. Um, but to that point of it being so monolithic, if it did have that one element where it did kind of the form did respond to the grade or, or something along those lines. Mm. Um, so, similar to that first image, which, uh, again, I'm, so, I'm sorry I missed it last week, but it the, sounds like uh, it was a lively discussion, but <coughs> the last month. So in terms, of, uh, in terms of where it hits the ground, our, our response to that was to make that somewhat of a fuzzy image <coughs> with, uh, with natural, um, um, natural grasses growing consistently 
uh, al along that edge, and, and we do have continuous um, behind those grasses, a, a, foot a foot away from the building, are uh, uplights to uh, that'll wash the building pretty continuously uh, in, in the evening. Mm -hmm. Which um, and those are, but I guess that, that, that part of the question. Yeah, um, that doesn't quite right respond right. to your. You know, what you're no, I'm just, I'm just but, saying but because after we seeing, I mean, after quickly seeing those images, that's the first image kind of stuck in my head when seeing that is whether there was some sort of a aspect of that first image that could, you know, to, to Liz's concern about it being so monolithic, or, that, that sort of just form, you know, that kind of taking the form and, and, or, and or, adjusting. Or maybe there's some articulation or accentuation of the metal panels with some, you know, bigger reveal at the top. Maybe that first line of panels, there's, you know, a foot uh, reveal before the other panels have, begin so that there is a, a relief to the monolithic shape of it. I don't know. I, I don't want to, I don't want to do I, the I design. Think yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I think this is something Darian can yeah, very is actually. But, uh, <laughs> the monolithic, um, yeah, there's there's also a strength to the monolithic aspect. Yeah, I see yes. it. Okay. You know, yeah. Um, but um, do the panels have to be that? Do the panels have to be that big in terms of scale? Um, no, these uh, on the original uh, where we when we came to you last time, those panels were eight feet long by one foot high, okay. and and um, and amongst our um, Team and, and meeting with the with the owners, uh, it was they were disturbed by having so many lines going into the, mm -hmm. yeah. the ground there. So that was yeah. the impetus for making the panels okay. bigger. But um, the size actually doesn't bother the, me. You know, we're um, um, well, we're still open to you know, to. to I get this as good as we can. You did, but uh, Mr. Riley, you said a great thing though at the end because the way the panels are oriented, it does make it feel like is this maybe the the, the, the goal that it's sunk in, right? The panels disappear. Yeah. That's yeah. the goal. Yes. I guess I that's I think what I've struggled with. Maybe I seem to accept that's the beauty of it because um, that's where, to your point, Dave, if there was something, a change in the the grade or something to kind of finish the end of it. I don't know. But that's maybe. cool. Like, look at mm -hmm. that. That yeah. it is like. <laughs> you know, like somebody took a, like a, just a block and so shoved it into the My thinking screen. on that is, as people drive by on the post drive, like it's, it's just abnormal enough yeah, to, yeah. Get, uh, to get a little bit of uh, attention. But, uh, um, so that, uh, that's, where, uh, that's where we're at. We can definitely look at other, um, um, making the panels smaller on the exterior because um, these are these are very large yeah I wonder whether you can try anything with the pattern of the joints as well I mean I think you know that design certainly reflects one approach to it but yeah um, like the running bond like try different bond oh, configurations nice. perhaps or yeah um, I mean, it kind of goes against it just being you know, actually very monolithic, and I don't know, would you lose a little bit of the effect of it just kind of sticking the ground? I don't know. It's, um, it's tough to tell a little bit from the record, but um, uh, I'm also wondering whether... Yeah, sometimes when we're dealing with, like, large format tiles, like, in a big space, we, rather than doing, like, midpoint, we'll do, like, a third, third run. You know, it's just, mm. again, it's... So I think from afar you yeah. won't have a brick wall. From afar you won't read that, so you just read that you know it is yeah. just this single object. But up close, does it give it a little bit more interest? I don't know. And I'm also wondering, is there anything that might be interesting done with like the site work? Like, Dave, to your point, if this was actually just dropped in the ground, like, there would be more of an impact on the lower side than there would be on the higher side. It could, Oh, you mean with the landscaping? Like, like yeah. burning or something? Like almost, like almost like a little bit of like a... Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's cool. But it's a if, if we were to do that, I would want, <laughs> I would, I would want the plants to be taller on this end. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Matt, do you want to speak like you had on your like you had on your sketch, the, the top sketch, <coughs> where you did the plan sort of? This was part of the balance of the whole building. You know, mm. Subconscious architect <laughs> drawing <laughs> with the mat, the massing. Um, I think Matt can speak to maybe some of the landscape. Landscaping elements that can be provided. For okay, uh, Matthew Pock, landscape architect, environmental land solutions. Uh, on that that lower end, we definitely could have uh, taller grasses. I think I would want to keep the you know the same type of, of feeling across the front facade of, of grasses. Um, right now, the uh, grass that we're using uh, across the front, um, you know, it's about a grows about four and a half, five feet uh, tall, and uh, we're using that it goes all the way across. <coughs> No, right across the, the entire front of that, and in front of that, we, we layer it down with um, a, a blue stem, which is still kind of a taller uh, grass, and it depends on it. You know, while I'm here, I uh, think I'd maybe just go on some, some of the other changes. One of the main changes was uh, to change the light uh, fixture. Um, I think the last time I was here, the quantity came up. I can't remember if I said like you know, 16 or 17, but we had 17 poles. I mean, we have four. We had 14 poles, um, and I actually reduced it to uh, 13. Uh, there was a pole right here in the kind of in the middle. So when you came in, that pole about uh, kind of blocked the view of the building. So we kind of uh, spaced them out a little bit uh, further right there. So when you come in, you get a clear view of uh, the building. Um, there is a detail of the pole. Um, I can, if you go, I can if you go to the uh, the renderings, uh, then we, can, we can see it. But maybe if we if I just stand this, I can go through the changes, and then we can in, go. In um, the view? I then keep going. Um, <coughs> no. Uh, right there. It's, it's an up, you know, it's indirect, so it, it shines light up to a, kind of the square uh, top to it, and it and shines down to it. It's more contemporary than the, the last fixture I had. Uh, they're 12 feet in height <coughs> to this side, to the right to the base of the light. Uh, the fixture, I think, is about you know, 28 or so, 30 inches in, in tall above that. It's a neat pole you chose. It's very different. Thanks. I like that. I think it works yeah. well with the yeah. Well. The actually, it the actually you could, the you could, I don't know, I have to, I'm not sure it would be uh, considered dark sky, but the tops actually, you, you could shift them. So, so maybe we can shift them to kind of align with the building. Mm. Uh, maybe to right in front. That's cool. Um, across the front, uh, right across the front, it was kind of dark along the walkway, so I added uh, some uh, bothered uh, lights. Uh, that would be kind of on the landscape plan. Uh, it's just the. Uh, Do you have specs in your knees? There's the light here. I have it right here. Um, uh, <coughs> Matt, did you, did you identify the tree of trees that we're preserving to? Uh, yeah, we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, just, uh, just going down my list, we added to know about this using sweet pea. We increased the size of the uh, shade trees. We're going to re change the light fixture, re remove one of the fixtures. Um, around the uh, around the utilities, right here, um, we took off the hollies um, and we just again continue with the grasses around that, kind of matches the, the building. Uh, the trees that are to be removed. I think there's, I think I identified four, but actually just looking at it again, it'd probably be a, a fifth one removed, uh, this one right here. So we remove uh, kind of two here and two here. Uh, two of them are kind of in the axis way. And the next two over here, uh, they're, when you go out there, they're kind of degraded, a lot of dead branches. A lot of those trees actually have uh, dead branches in them, but those, the two in this area right here kind of looked in poor health. Uh, this tree right here, it, it's right next to a utility pole. Again, it's small. Again, that one's not in good health either. A lot of dead branches. So we're kind of replacing, they're all oak trees. Um, we're replacing those with more oak trees. Um, so I would say, 
Again, the most significant tree is right here, a, a willow oak. Um, maybe one of the biggest in the States, uh, I, I think. I was looking at the, uh, the uh, size of the, the biggest willow oaks in the state, and you know, I think that's pretty close to it. Um, so what we're, luckily what we're doing, the road comes in here, we're kind of removing that road further away. So I think that's a, a good improvement. Again, removing the sidewalk off the street, uh, putting interior um, away from the traffic, which I kind of like. Uh, the bollard walls right here, we just added a detail uh, on the plan. Uh, they're going to be a 30 inch diameter. We looked at it, originally we had 36, and when we had a 36, it looked like too massive for that space. So we're just going to a, a 30 inch diameter ball. I think that is it. How visible will this be from uh, 95? Is that that butts right up to? No, the there's, Land Rover there's is between the Land Rover dealership is between yeah, the second and ninety-five. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. That's on the area of the room, I think. Yeah, yeah. the first line. Yeah. Kind of yeah. orientation. Matthew, yeah. <laughs> I'm missing the, um, the the upward lighting on the building. So that's I didn't show that in my plan. The upward lighting. Do you have the details for that or not yet? I don't have. I, yeah. I don't have an idea. So it's a continuous um, LED uh, strip. I can. Um, uh, so it's I'm a green strip. Got to get submitted to the. Yeah, I guess I was kind of curious how like all the intensity of the lights would all come together, you know, and and. And in what lumens? Are these all? I don't want them to compete, right? Well, like one thing quality. I want it to be all the all same the temperature for sure. Yeah. Because I, I I know there's a building by my house that the the pole lights are one color, and then like the sign and the building is totally different. Right. And it doesn't. Yeah. And, and the lighting on the building can um, it can be adjusted, so it can be um, either dimmed, and I stuff. and I believe the the color tone you can go from like five thousand down to. Uh, 3,000 uh, Kelvin. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'd be curious to, to get a, um, a copy of that okay. spec sheet for that lighting source. And what are, are, you, are you curious to see what it looks like in the evening in terms of all the light? Yeah. yeah. Is it possible to get a night like color to see? So, is that a night? A night yeah. right there, yeah. Sure. With the lighting grazing the building and then all the pole lights and the, the paving lights. Yeah. Just to see, is it a spaceship or is it just glowing? Mm -hmm. So uh, any kind of reflective panels within, this is a little beyond you, Matt, sorry, uh, but back to the, 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 the skin of the building. You had talked about like a translucent panel here and there, that's gone. Yeah, that. Okay. That. Okay. So there's no lighting source from the building other than upward lighting. Okay. LED. okay. Reflective are the panels. So, I mean, the, it's tough to tell in a rendering, but is this like a um, dull color composite aluminum? I left, I left the sample that we had um, <coughs> at the last meeting. I'm not sure whether it made it. Yeah. It's like a oh, yeah. That's a good question. It is. Do you mind just scroll it's back to the. Um, it's, the it's got the a metallic the finish, but yeah. uh, not not a. It's nowhere close to a mirror. Yeah, not a glossy finish. Where would it see. fall within those? Yeah. That one. I don't know. That's, yeah. that's how I read it. The, this this is the same material. Now I think that one. The question for you. Know, all all of these are the. While each of these buildings looks different, it's it's all the, the same those material, all the same different design. light. Mm -hmm. Is this an alloy? Is it an alloy? Uh, it's a pollock, a p o l i c. A pollock. Yeah. 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 Given its location, it's pretty similar. The joint, what is the jointing? Is it like 
Is, the, is it like a rain screen? I mean, I'm just yeah, going to ask yeah, the whole thing. Is it like a rain screen? It, it is a rain screen. So it's not, it's, it's not glued to the thing. It has a little gap between. Yes. So there's a, a, the yes. groove so is actually a shadow. Yes. And then the, all the waterproofing yeah. happens in the back. Yeah. It's an open joint. It's an open right. joint. It's an open joint. So it's better than, because the ones that are not so happy sometimes are the ones that have caulking in between. And those yeah. are <coughs> rarely, they, they can be, if they're done well, they can be nice, but if they're, they're often not done well. So that's, right. that's they're, that way they're, they're yeah, it's, it's an open joint. The, the rain, rain screen is the yeah. right. We did something somewhat similar at 34 Old Kings Highway. Um, that's a it's a different kind of panel, but it's a rain screen application. So uh, you can see the joints clearly, and they they add to the um, to the architectural composition. So um, I have two questions for you guys while you're still up there. Um, maybe I'll start with Matt because it might be easier. What what are your thoughts about on on um, changing the plane of the grasses along the base of the building, kind of what we were saying to like where it might be higher one and lower. Do you have thoughts on that in opinion? Or? I like the simplicity of going straight across, I think. Okay. Um, but I think if, you know. We could kind of go that way too. I'm just have to think Yeah, I mean, about so it. when yeah. it's all at one level, it, it accentuates the, 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 yeah, the, the building, the building yeah. and it's angled towards the ground. Okay. Question? Yep. The, uh, the cloud 10 sign right now, the, each panel you said was how tall? Yeah, um, 12 feet, no, four feet tall. Four, four feet tall. So currently the letters are beyond the maximum allowed size of letters? Yeah, that in, in the cover letter that we uploaded, and I'm sorry I didn't get it in right. late last week, we're withdrawing the signage piece. I think that was a suggestion that you, you've given us. Okay. Uh, and we we think it is, you know, we think you were right, essentially, that maybe it's better to examine signage once we have the building in place, okay. the site plan in place. So this is just, so we should ignore, this is just for demonstrative uh, okay. purposes. But, but, yeah. but um, it's correct that this sign as shown does not right. comply with your regulations. Yeah. Correct. Well, actually, the reason I brought it up is that it, it is a strong part of the composition because you're reading the line of the building, you're also reading the sign that goes with the line, so your eye catches it. Yeah. And yeah. so if there is to be a sign on the building, which seems to, you know, work in many cases, mm -hmm. then we want to talk about the size of the letters. Is there an exemption that the, the board feel is appropriate because in proportion, you don't want the letters to be too small, right? right? So, exactly. and it's far away from the, from the post mm -hmm. road. So that's that. That's why I'm bringing. That's that. a great point. Yeah. 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 Also, so would would there be an opportunity for a monument sign in the same shape, for instance? Mm -hmm. uh, well, there was something. Yeah. At yes, the Dave. We talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. said, oh, we did <laughs> suggest. No, that's awesome. Okay. Okay. We're all on the same way. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You said that. And, and, and that was one of the reasons why I broke it up. We just yeah. we didn't have, quite frankly, the time to okay. put that entire mm -hmm. concept together. Okay. But it, when we do come for signage, yeah, probably. Oh would be a, a regulation right. and then amendment. Just understanding um, if this has any sort of inner lighting or halo right. light or something that's cool that'll be later right yeah right. Mm -hmm. right. but Harvey makes a great point that 24 feet is usually what it is but we you know 24 inches. get 24 inches <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, it, yeah. Like with this building, it, it's an exceptional. Right. So we might want to consider something that's you know that is part of the sculpture element. So yeah. we'll, don't be limited, you right. know, d design. Right. So yeah. we've looked at that, and and this um, this size sign is what feels mm -hmm. appropriate to us based on the, the overall mass of the building and the fact that it is set back. It's 130 feet back from uh, the post road. Yeah. <clears throat> Like Your regulations allow uh, allow for larger letters uh, when you are set back over a hundred feet, but not this big. Right. It's just like the size of the sculpture for uh, at the St. Peter's and in Rome from El Bernardini because they're enormous. You don't see them as enormous. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I had one other question for you, Bruce, about the design. One of your one of your original sketches here. It showed the depth to where it almost like it angled backwards from the height of the building. The, the height of the building in the front was taller than the height of the building in the back. It almost like downsloped over the garage doors. This Does that make sense? This, so this that line almost dropped, or maybe it was just appearance. That line dropped a little bit. I wondered if you had 
you had sketched that out but in, in coming up with this you deliberately that's, kept it that's not on the that's not shown that way on those flat drawings i think you're perfectly correct when, when on the rendering it had an angle yeah, yeah, like it's, uh, you probably can't see it, but it just, sh it shows almost like it's, it's, it's downward sloping I towards did. the back of the property. Yes. And I didn't know if that is something you had considered, and in this right you thought, no, we, we want to keep it deliberately rectangular. The, we were keeping it deliberately rectangular because I could get all of the joints all around the building to line up, but uh, I'm not saying that that's, critically important, it, it was just, um, it added just, complication. Yeah, it, the, it just where we ended up with the design process. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would be this, it would be this space where, yeah, the left side would be whatever, whatever that number is 20, whatever that, the height is 20, let's say, and the right was 16. Mm -hmm. It was offset, that, that's what it appeared to be in one of your, op one of your options, okay. Um, uh, so, just in terms of conclusions and Direction. Um, Sorry, I was waiting to see if anyone else had other comments. Anything <laughs> before I, I was going to conclude. For you, but I was letting it still absorb it. <laughs> Anything else, guys? Can I mention one thing? Yeah. Do I need to check in? Do you need to check in? Yeah. The camera loves you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brendan Johnson. Um, owner. Oh, no. Thank you. One of the owners. Um, I don't know whether this is appropriate upstairs or here, or but um, just a just a reality that we've got to deal with. So the building was broken into about a month ago, and we fenced it two weeks ago, Jeff. Yes. And they broke into it again and got on the roof and put graffiti on it. So this is a very dark, and this is with the police using the lot for traffic control and things like that, and with our permission. So it's definitely a dark part of. The corner of town and I just want to make sure and we wanted to make it look beautiful as well but um I want to make sure that as we continue these discussions we just have enough safety lighting here at night that I don't need to hire someone 24 7 to keep them off the roof which is my no, my uh, new problem to deal with okay. That's my thank you right yeah <laughs> this roof is hard yeah. Yeah. Um, okay okay so I think in summary, you have a favorable report. I mean, it, it's really, it's fabulous. It really is fabulous. We're so lucky to have this. Um, the one thing to consider, uh, is the only takeaway that we played with, was the offsetting the joints, to consider offsetting the joints maybe, keeping us just give one more thought before the final presentation. Um, I don't believe we need to see any more files. Looks good, landscaping plan looks good. We do um, want to see the lighting. Yes, lighting. yes. I want to see yet that the detail of the lighting source, the building lighting source, and a night rendering. So you can say, you don't need to come back. You can send that to us as a PDF that we can all review separately. Um, and I will they issue do. you a favorable report. They do need to come back with a signage. Though. Well, that signage is separate. That'll, yeah, be, a that'll separate, be a new application. Separate application. That'll be a 2024 problem. Okay. Or not problem, but opportunity. We, we look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Sign. We do have our hearing with the PNZ Commission at uh, at at well now in 15 minutes, so uh, we can tell them we've got a favorable report from you guys. Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. 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 Congratulations. Thanks. By the way, to clarify, we we were debating this afterwards. There is no vacuuming inside. All the vacuuming is done by yourself. Correct. Yes. Correct. But you don't you don't have to if you don't. Want. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. you can ask somebody um, to do it. No. no, no, no. You can choose not to. So you're not washed without vacuuming. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think the yeah, right. So there's sometimes where you're outside the outside of your vehicle is more low than the inside. So. All right. I know. Yes. That was the debate. Okay. Thank Next you. Next up, thank you guys. Next thank up, we've got. Um, there. That was the site design group that these post miners building. It was early 80s. <laughs> Yeah, this, this was postmodernism. It was best stores by site design. They did a whole series of these like deconstructed, monolithic, boom kind of architecture. Yeah, and those of us who were in architecture stores. Fair Burger, yes, instead of. Don't design like that. <laughs> you were told don't design. Well, yeah, postmodernism was a funny word. Yeah, okay, okay. 
Well, when you say 80s too. <laughs> there's, there's some really bad examples. Yeah. But I, I've always thought that that, act, that was a good example. Yeah. Yes. All right, we've got Airbnb number 41, 2023. This is old business as well. It's the signage for Bear Burger at 150 Heights Road and Darien Commons. Hi. I'm Clarissa. I'm with O'Neill Langan Architects. Um, so the signage vendor was not able to come and present today, but I did upload the files on their behalf. Um, so we can take a look. And then there was mention of reviewing the outdoor layout and the greenery. So we've uploaded that file so that we can discuss that. And Great. It's good to see you again, Carissa. Good to see you too. So there's Blade Sign and Option 1 and Option 2. These are the latest. Like, yes, like and they the did. Um, like? We can start with whichever one. They did up, uh, they sent us a, another version today. I let them know that I would be leaving at a certain time, but they were not able to get it to me in time. So I did email it to you if that's. Mm possible to pull up, but we can start with these and see oh, how we do. I was doing option, we were here? I think or option yes. one. Okay. There, that's good, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that to start. We'll see, because we'll see if my inbox works. Okay. Um, so option one features a much more similar layout to the one that we had seen originally, and they've provided support at the back. It's not as high up as the original just because of technicality. So this is how it works better and it's more simple. Okay. Um, so this would be um, the more the more preferred option just because uh, it's the most balanced and most similar to what we originally wanted. Um, the blade signs have remained the same. So those I think we all agreed yeah. that were fine. Um, and then we can review option two. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and then option two, they played around with the dimensions of it a bit and then centered it along just in case the new proportions of it felt better but they've um, explored centering it and then like making it larger just because the scale last time was a bit small. Um, so these are two options that we could look at. Um, I believe we internally prefer the first option, but um, we wanted to still explore the second one. I know they've had conversations as well that I might not be privy to, but these ones were the, the options, the final ones. So the option two is eight, 18 inches mm -hmm. for the maximum height, right? Yes. And, and option one, I'm trying to pull up to compare. It's 18 inches. So They're both 18 inches. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. just where it sits on yeah. the band. on the awning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Because what would happen is we originally, you had this, when you originally pitched the, the facade, they kind of, kind of sold us on the design where, you know, it, it, it sat proud and above the awning. It sat on top mm -hmm. of the awning. Um, so yeah, I think we've been adjusting, it, yeah, um, we've been adjusting to that with these new Yes, I, I believe the third option that they sent over, they did, they, it doesn't, it's not sitting on it, but it is above it, and it, it has um, vertical supports. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how, they probably wouldn't be visible from like a standing height, but they were not able to find a way to adhere it in a, in a way that felt secure without having backing or, you know, support from the bottom. So we can see if the third option feels better, but... Because I wondered why there had to be a back, like, like why they couldn't use the same sort of metal element that secured the awning to the building in the first place, why something like that couldn't be used to secure the sign could you, to the awning. Could you, you could try to send it to uh, Liz to see if she could show it on computer. I'm, net, I'm, I, I'm a little reluctant to just reopen what I'll mm -hmm. with considering what I went through before uh, this. So, yes. so if you could send sure. it to someone else, yeah, I'll grab then, it. Um, or you can even you can text mess text message it to me too. Which other option? Yeah, or text message, but I'm not sure it's going to get in. Okay, can you go back to the um, first one? That's up higher. 
the one yeah. with the yeah. so it has that it has the it has a backer bar of course that, which is the one that <laughs> last time was uh, argued about so, but it's still there because you <coughs> the and at night there's nothing to yeah. it actually is not that what was interesting though is that they created this this little edge on the each or, around each of the letters mm -hmm. instead of backlit or halo lit it's mm -hmm. really a little additional thickness mm -hmm. it took me a little while to figure out from that little section here yeah. this is a tiny little kind of cool mm -hmm. yeah. very yeah. fairly discreet it still yes. satisfies the yeah the you know stipulations for the time and it does and it sort of looks like it's hovering I think in this case, yeah, as yeah. opposed to the other one, yeah. the other one, yeah, no, this I think like my preference, one. yeah, is, yeah is where it is rising above the yeah. canopy a little bit. We were, last time we were talking, for, for David's uh, benefit, we were talking about maybe some sort of rod system that, that holds the sign completely above the awning. Yeah, but I can see the, the, the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it would have just gotten too, right. mm -hmm. yeah, too much structure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay. She should, but I was worried about seeing that, that bar in the back, that black bar. Like, if you see on the lower one, yeah, yeah. like how it dictates the, the sign behind it. I think it. it's going to be as... I don't think as you're going to see it that yeah. way from, as, a, as a pedestrian from the street looking up at it. Okay. I think it I don't yeah, think unless you're looking at straight on. Straight on. The, the, letters letters will will hide, the thickness of the letters will hide. Yeah. yeah. So which one is preferred? This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This this one. one. one just because it feels um, nicer the way it ends up being positioned, but I mean, it, they're they're flexible, so. Yeah. Uh, but I'm already it's, it's good. Yeah, I like the half and half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one doesn't work. Yeah. This is too many. Looks like too many posts. Yeah, that's just funny. Um, okay, oh, yeah. this was option two. Uh, one. this one's option one, the one that I picked around. <laughs> okay. Option one. Okay. All right, your phone's here. Great. So, um, you finally get a favorable report here. So the two blade signs, as originally presented, not eliminated, and this halo lit sign, white, is it, and is it white painted face, or is it white, um... Oh, hold on, here's the blade sign. White color painted Oh, yeah, just in case you wanted to... Yeah, 24 inch. Information on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It hasn't changed. 18 by 24. Um, can we pull up option one again, please? Nope. There we go. Um, so this, the main portion of it will be the steel fabricated letter, and then inside it will be a white acrylic halo lit. Yeah. With the face, originally it was black face the second round, and this is a white face mm -hmm. painted. Yeah. Okay. But no light coming through. It's, a, it's an opaque white. Right? Um, yes. Yes. Thank you, Harvey, for clarifying. It yeah. says white color paint mm -hmm. face. So it's a some sort of, I guess it would be a metal because if it was an acrylic, it may still be kind of whitish. So since we've kind of not said yes to any of the facelift <coughs> signs, you have to make sure it's white but it's opaque. Okay. So that's in the specification, maybe or in the letter. I'll put that in the letter. Be consistent. Yeah. Okay. You have a favorable report. What are you going to do with all this time? You don't come back here each month. <laughs> I know. I'll use it wisely. <laughs> um, did, we, did you want to review the outside patio at all? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Let's take it. Yeah. I think, yeah. That's good. But. Is it? This um, one? It okay. should be this one. The other one is good. <laughs> 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 My heart just Today's moved. scary. <laughs> um, so the layout has stayed the same, but we did um, want to include that we are proposing long, tall grass, wild grass. So 
that would be at every, the idea is to have it at every seating table just to create some visual privacy between the diner and the parking. Um, but I know there was mention of having more space between them just from people parking it in order to access the sidewalk. So they are spaced out more. Um, and they each have their own umbrella unless they're too close to a lighting um, source. So that would stay uncovered. Um, but um, perhaps you can let us know what your thoughts are on the layout and the greenery. It's the, the evening or the season of grasses. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Everything we're seeing is grasses. They, they, they no. stay like this all, all year so long. Right? And they don't, yeah, they don't just die off in the winter time like some other places we just saw this morning? Yeah. Right, right. They do look green. Yes. Okay. So it's like... Uh, Evergreen, evergreen grasses. Can we spec out which grass? That's what um, I'm wondering. No, not specifically yet. So we don't know that. The one that's here. We don't know the one more out than the one. What about a little blue stem, but, maybe? That looks nice in the fall, and it doesn't have a lot of fluorescence. So uh, that could look nice. I'm trying to think what else. There's a lot of curl top forest here, but that's too tall in that parking area already. Um, you also don't want something that just kind of double What about a Mexican feather grass? As long as it's not over water. You could say anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Um, a little blue stem or Mexican feather grass. Look into those. Okay. I think it's, I like the personalization though with the box and umbrella at each table. Mm -hmm. I think it just would be really nice for like making that like a a place setting there in that corner, really yeah. giving you the anchor that it needs in that mm -hmm. end. So that's nice. Yeah, I think and the fact that it is a plant. Yeah, yeah, just having that mass. Yeah, <coughs> to weigh it, yeah. yeah. And I think it runs, like the planters run all the way down the, the, the west side of the building there along mm -hmm. Edgerton. Those are them, yeah, thanks, yes. Ray. Yes. Yeah, so a planter and umbrella per table there, mm -hmm. so that side doesn't get lost. So I was worried about that side feeling. That's a light there. It is. Okay. Yeah. Those are existing, so. Yeah, you we couldn't won't. put a table. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> okay. The green chairs are fun, like we said last time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Good to go. Thank Good to you. Go. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. So, when are you guys going to open? Do you do they have any? Does the owner spoke to you about that? Um, I don't have an exact date yet. All right. Thank you, Carissa. Okay, Thank favorable you. report on that one. Now we're going to go to new business. We've got ARB number 44, 2023. It's at 132 Heights Road from La Source. Uh, in tandem, we're also going to see right after that ARB number 45, which is all 130 Heights Road, right next to that, which is <coughs> Zen Cha Matcha. Yes. All right. So La Source first, right? Yeah, La Source first. Hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, Kevin Kane, owner of Hungwell Signs. Uh, we're going to propose um, a couple of signs from La Source. Um, First, there's a round sign. Yeah, it's nice right there. Nice mm -hmm. sign. I yeah, like that. It's a very interactive. You did a good job, Eric. It's like hypnotizing. That's good. That's why I was. That's why I was talking. It's talking slow on my computer. It might just be the Wi-Fi here tonight. Um, my computer is very slow. I like just hope it loads. There it is. Thank you. All right, Kevin. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, we've done quite a few of these. Uh, just a push-through letter um, from a painted aluminum light box. Painted aluminum light box with push through letters, yeah, right? Yeah. So during the day, you see. Right, exactly. The, the image above. Okay. And that's just a little bit of a night view with the light, lights coming out of the side. And the plate sign. Cool. I think that's very cool. Yeah, it's really. Cool. Mm -hmm. I like the the mount really works well with that too. And as far as its positioning um, on the building, yeah, on the building. Yeah. I think it's this next photo down below. Yeah. It's a long so yeah, eight feet. Yeah. And that's it's over here. Correct. It's right here. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, it's, that's nice. Yeah. But you got a tiny end. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, small. Yeah, it's only um. Exactly, 60 inches. A door and a half. Yeah. So I think it'll fit right, nice right in that little spot there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah. All right, favorable report. I'm going to do the next one for you. You have Airbnb number 45 right next door at 130 Heights. Correct, right? exactly. Right okay. Right next door. Um, Kevin Hongwell signs. Uh, Zen Cha Mata. Macha. Um, Don't panic, Airbnb. Take your time. It's going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know it gets stressed. But <laughs> it's a smaller file. The big ones. I'm hoping the the last one will load because it's bigger. So let's see. Is the final one the final? I wonder which one I should take. It's, they're all. Uh, it's my life so much easier when they all the same. It's cool. So uh, once again, um, I push through a light box because the letters are so uh, um, thin. We decided to go with, with another push through. Um, we want to match the uh, facade with the background. Well, because um, the sign band is 12 inches and we wanted to build it up a little bit to 18 inches. So um, we just, we'd like to build a uh, box that accommodates that 18 inches to go a little bit, get the letters a little bit bigger. Um, you can see in the next photo maybe. Oh, that's the place. That's really fun. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, he's got a nice logo. So you can see we just wanted to get a little bit. Um, How thick was it? Sort of the table has it, am I saying that correctly? I'm not sure. So the top sort of the top they, they did the same with kind of. It overlapped the, the yeah, transom. Yeah, they went a little bit table. larger they in theirs. Did, I, but isn't, don't they have like a grill behind theirs above the doors? It's not a last transom. I can't remember. So we've done a few of If we brought it down to 12 inches, the uh, matcha would be, yeah, yeah. it would only be one inch letter. Mm. And they prefer on two lines versus versus yeah. one line across. Yeah. That's their. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, I feel like it's. I think it's. So in the blades on there, it looks like proportionately matcha is smaller to zencha than it is. Is that just the way it reads? It feels like the matcha. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the matcha and the blade side are they um slightly smaller? I just wonder whether that would allow you to make a box slightly smaller. I know we've, if I brought this, these letters down to this scale, like just proportionate, it looks like the matcha is larger on the box. I think it's right. It is. The ratio, the ratio. We brought it, I brought it up larger just because uh, if I brought it onto this box, the letters would be like this, be so small. So the owner asked if we could bring the letters a little bit taller, just so you could read it. Would you want to do the same on the blade sign then? I like bring that per same proportion between the two on the blade side. Yeah. Match a tiny little bit bigger. Like a little bit bigger on the blade side. I mean, that way it's consistent. I actually like it smaller. Yeah. I like the blade side proportion. Yeah. 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 I do too. Good question. Can you go yeah. down to the the the, 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 the side on the building? And I think what, there is some depth to this box, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. I think we're, sorry, we're all still a little struggling with the overlap it, it, there. It popping up above the, the line, yes. right? Yeah. That, that struck me. How about if we took the whole space up and just kept the letters at that size? And like just went just extended all the way so you on one see line. It. Yeah. yeah. As an option. Yeah. Transom with that interruption. So, no, but if it was a Zen Cha Matcha all in one line, all, all the way across. And it was only in that transom band. Right. In the sign band. In the, the 12 sign, inches. In the 12 inches. Yeah. I think I've, I. I think that's. I mean, it's, it's, that's his logo. I did, the, 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 the logo the stack, is the like way that. It's yeah. st stacking is uh, yeah. his look. That's why you do it like that, I get right. it. Right. Yeah, there's. I mean, I don't mind. I think one of them we like. I thought we actually like centered it where it floated almost over the door, but it was off. It came off the building a couple inches. Like we mounted it like two inches off the building, so yeah. it kind of came over the door a bit. But it worked. yeah, I remember it just being a little bit more centered and symmetrical than this. But obviously, it doesn't look like you can drop back because the door will hit the right. Yeah. Yes. Do we have the other signs? Was there a package that was that had all the other signs? I think we're trying to align it 
with the frame in the in this <laughs> I thought, well, I don't know if it's in this application, but I thought I saw with all one of the applications had all the different signs <laughs> at, um, at the Federal Realty. Mm. There was a, I did present it to the client, some other, did you? I wonder if it's in, it may be in there, I'm not sure. I, it's not, the current site is going to be the same, right? It's the same. Okay. All right, Paul? Cool. I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, I would, get, I, I, mean, I would obviously look better a little more centered, but I, I don't. I see if you, you know, you shrunk the whole what thing and had less thing? slack around. Yeah. Shrunk the whole. Oh, you need the I'm not suggesting it, but just there. it would be kind of interesting to see if you could actually stay with the transom height, the, the trans, not the transom. The we tried that with the letter. Yeah, Macho really, yeah. really yeah. would be too like, small. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you'd probably get it to 16 inches. And, I mean, do you need a certain amount of space for wiring or something? Between the bottom of Macho and the bottom of the box? Uh, no, we came up at 18 just for the look. Yeah. Um, um, Kevin, what if we made it? All across all, like the all the windows, like above that whole thing. So it would be you know eight inches wide or something. But then that way, it you would don't be see right. Yeah, so the, bo really the box is cool. the full width of the yeah, door, but better. the sign is what it is, so that it doesn't look like you're. Yeah, so you don't up. see the left and right. Mm -hmm. get, that disappears. Mm -hmm. That so imagine that little box box right. being the entire width. Cover this whole area. Yeah. Yeah. And then keep the letters. Oh, so yeah. So you don't see, right? you don't see all this stuff. Right. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. There's also the option of, uh, of lining it up with the emollient of the edge of the wind, the, the door door. Mm -hmm. So that you I look, it feels it. like the door is like pushing it's through. Like, no. the whole it'll, it'll be, it'll it'll be the just cleaner if it's the whole way. Okay. I, I think Dave, you have a good point seeing it at 16, too. I mean, seeing the same thing. Keeping the, the letters the same size, but just <coughs> tightening it up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, even just a little bit of a difference, I think, would make it feel uh, yeah. you know, more appropriate up there. And my only concern with, I agree, probably making the entire width would work, but then is everybody going to ask to do that? Because I know we've dealt with the situation before and we've managed to make it work, but. Uh, we might end up doing that for, for others, which I don't know is the right decision either. Mm -hmm. But it should be easy enough to do both of those, right? And send it over. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, no problem. Single letters The doors swing in or out? They come out. Mm -hmm. Oh, to lower it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can, can you show us two PDFs, one at 16 inches and one all the way across, Kevin? Yeah. And then we'll do, if we don't have you come back, we'll do a administrative approval. We'll send okay. it to the board. We'll give it, the board 24 hours to take a look, pick a choice, and get back to you. All right. Does that sound okay? Yeah, that's, yeah. All right. Great. All right. Blade sign's great, though. We've got a good blade sign. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Thanks. All right. I believe Alex Poon's up. We've got ARB number 42, 2023. It's 115 Old Kings Highway for Bella, Dale, and Spa. This used to be the old you break, we fix. Good evening. 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 Can you introduce yourself for the record and your introduce yourself? Yeah, I think my name is Alex Poon. Okay. Actually, I'm very interested. Yeah. And are you owner? I'm the owner, yeah. Okay. Great, welcome. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, this is one of my hobby, you know. Okay. <laughs> Coming to the architectural review board in your free time is, yeah, is yeah. a hobby. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, um, so we have a sign here. Um, we, we tried, this is uh, like funny building, you know, like a triangle. Yeah. I guess you know, so the front front so we put we put better now and slant and uh, try to put the both side on other street. Um, but I think I think it's too too many, right? Right, you're allowed to last two wall sides, yeah. Oh we only allow two yeah. two wall sides, okay. So um, so this is from the old King's Highway here, right? Yes, you're, 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 yes, you're North North old, King, old King's Highway was one. Okay. Yes, so so we uh, we only now we only put 
one in the front and one in this side, like uh, okay, on Old King's Highway. There was there was one on this corner, cut corner, which yes. would be non-compliant to oh, okay. regulations. So because that's where I the entrance is, but that's that's a choice. Oh, so this entrance, we're not gonna put anything. No, nope. we're gonna put both sides. Yep. Uh, I see. Yeah. Well, you are allowed one wall sign per street frontage. So yeah, because I think they already have a light over here before. They have a light over here and then they have a light over mm -hmm. here. Uh, yeah, I can just see. Right. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. Would it have to, would both of them read Bella? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, okay. so they'd be the same exact sign. Just that we're seeing on the bottom. Same as the sign, yeah. Maybe yeah. That. Okay. Not but not the, the bottom one. Not the bottom one. Not, not the bottom one. Yeah, okay. not the bottom one. So we're going to use. Okay. This one on both sides. Okay, and the size would be, they'd be replicate identically, right? The same in size as well? Yes, this this is 14 for the main, and then uh, 7 inch for, for the small one, because it's like nail in the spot. Okay. No light, except the light from shining onto it, right? Um, no in, no we, interior light. We try to make it like channel ladder, but it's uh, good because they already have light in the building. Mm -hmm. so, you so you use what's already there? Uh, the lighting. Just like we use the yeah, uh, acrylic uh, uh, material for these, mm -hmm. and then with the light, with the they they have a light. Go up there. Yeah, so go in there. Oh, there's a wall. There's a wall mounted it's light. It's a wall mounted light. Sure. Yes. Yeah, roof mounted. It's a roof mounted light. <coughs> okay. So it's actually, actually. Oh, like, I see. It's like a spotlight. Like I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like oh, so it shines up on. Yeah. It. Shine it's up. Yeah. indirect lighting. That's correct. Right. So that was trying to bring that. Mm -hmm. Um, what <coughs> troubles me is your is your nail salon is red one of the theme colors. Because yeah. we painted that red to go with a special thing, and it never worked that well. So I'm wondering if we can get that back to white. You mean no? The brick behind you, you it. took it right about here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one you you think you you're gonna put that uh, like white, and then the white, red and white is like spot like. I like red and, and white, mm -hmm. but if you if you paint this white. Okay, what well, color? The sign won't pop yeah. because yeah. the sign is white letters. Yes, I mean, yeah, the sign is yeah, white, yeah, white color. Is the white so, like, red background and white sign, I think that's contract, you know. But you're only doing a white sign because it's red. Like, if it was a white brick, you could do it a black sign, right? White. Like, do you have to have the red? Is the red part of your branding? Uh, not, really, it, not really, because they are, they that building they already painted in right. Black before. They did it with us years ago, and it didn't ever look great. Okay, so so I, I'm wondering if you're if you're stuck if you're not if you're open to considering painting that back white, okay. which is an open the discussion <coughs> to Miss Lipinski's Lepinsk, point that then white on white would work, right? But you'd have to maybe do black letters, right. black right. sign on white. Oh yeah, Would, so you, be clear right. would right. you be open to that? Yeah, we could do that. We could also do like. What if you painted it black? Paint it black above. Oh, yeah. So, so it's like the just paint, shingle. Paint, yeah, the so it's the paint the background. Paint the background white. Uh, in uh, white, and then the okay. sign would be black. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing that may help with it. So the, I mean, the, the Bella, that script Bella, is that like an actual logo that you use? Because if not, I'm wondering. Um, whether it might be cleaner just to have a nice black script on a full white background instead of the bellow with like the outline in white, mm -hmm. which I assume you do to make it uh, readable uh, colored okay. background. Just like like make it a letter. That's yeah. Does anyone else? Um, well, uh, yeah, it gets into the background the back color back. for it. I mean, you could mount it on a board. I mean that. You know, right now, are you going to just put these letters like right on the the brick? Yes. So it so wouldn't be down to do a board and then no, a board. Just, like, okay. just, just directly on. So pen letters. Yeah. Just like, okay. uh, I think yeah. it's all that. That's nice. Yeah, I was, I was just yeah. trying to put it right But I feel like the red paint should be addressed. I know, I feel like we messed that up six years ago when we painted it red. Yeah, it was like a computer store. 
it was, yeah, it didn't, it didn't work. I know what they were going for. It just it ends on the ones. It just looks a little awkward. Maybe black would be better, but I, I know white definitely, the original okay. is, yeah, works. But that. I'm open to like black, and I, just, I would, would like to address it while it's here. Yeah, we can okay. paint it in, in white. That's, that's fine. If, we paint, if it's painted white, then the, then the roof is going to be more prominent. If it's painted black, then it'll be similar to what you're seeing with the red. Yeah. It's just it'll be more, a little bit more monolithic. So maybe black. Okay. In which and case, with, keep the white letters. Keep the white letters. Keep the white letters. Letter. Yeah. Okay. Been mounted and everything works. Mm -hmm. Or like, so it's if not, it's not black, like a charcoal gray, yeah. so that it matches the shape. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just so it looks a little bit continuous. Mm -hmm. So does that make sense? Sure. Paint, paint over the red to match the, the, the shape. Yeah. So you match the color of the Match the color of the shingle. So like a charcoal, like a black charcoal. Instead of red, this color. And then the red. This color. color. Yeah. Yeah. This color for, it's for yeah. the for yeah. Keep the sign and we keep, keep this. Okay. okay. So the white line. letter. That would be red nails. light. Like yeah. Yeah. kind of a dark gray. Okay. Right? That's true. I see, I see. Hmm? Charcoal. The red nails. Charcoal. Yeah. 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 Yes. Charcoal yes. background. This way, this way, this will read. Okay. This will read. And then you're going to the top of the sign. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah, we do this. Okay, so it's like a same like a single like this. It's like it's yeah, yeah, not yeah. quite a black, but it's, yeah, it's a, the yeah. It's a dark dark. Black. I understand that. And as Mrs. Hart just said, then you'll really notice your nails, your and your sign, the bling, the red nails. Oh, right. yeah. They'll really stand out then. Mm -hmm. Red nail. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you're. In the direction of a favorable report, we just don't do can't do one now until you get new files in. So can you update your PDFs and send new versions to Hervé in the planning and zoning offices? Okay. Uh, he'll review them and make sure they match the changes we discussed in our meeting, and he okay. will get you an administrative approval. So, so uh, it's two signs. Both signs are matching in size and dimensions. They both say Bella Nail and Spa mm -hmm. in the as presented the white, the, uh, just as in the white um, same. Same then, size, what you have the of and each, just paint the, and the background the painted like in the charcoal. Same, same thing like a, a single. Yep. Okay. To match the roof. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you got you it. Uh, just for the record, you're allowed if you in the future decide to put up um, window signage. A lot of I know a lot of nail salons love their window clings. It has to be limited to ten percent of the of the coverage of your window. So only ten percent of your windows can okay. be covered with signage. I see. Okay. Sure. Okay. So just like maybe open, you know, small. Yeah, small. yeah. Yeah, you have big. Well, the the the, okay, the open sign. Open the sign. the yeah. sign that says open is the only sign that's allowed to have light in it. That's the only one. No Bella Salon no, 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 in no, light. No, 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 and if you were to put something on the window, like a decal or you know a stick stick on or vinyl, that's what is t ten percent of each opening. So you can choose. You can say, okay, well, if I want to have one side, these these are large openings, uh, yeah, and they can uh, we have a uh, you have, big we have a good know. amount of space there to play with. So but only you only allow that to uh, all these window like ten percent. Right. So oh, let's say if you said you know if you didn't want to have tiny little sign for each of the subdivision of windows of ten percent, you can say I'm going to have one sign here that's going to be ten percent of this entire opening. That uh, that we will look at. Okay. Because otherwise, every time you have a bar, it's just the amount of glass. It makes no sense for visual purposes. Okay. And then on your front door, don't we want the address or number. the number? That's a great call. So on the front door, when you put something, you need to, to write down the, the, the number, uh, the address. Uh, they already have a number and address on the top over here. On the top? Oh, yeah. they do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They, they have a, See that? They, they right there. See. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we can't see it. 115. They already have 115. Oh, I, I saw the 115 written yeah. in the mm -hmm. It's there. It's not. It's on the on the roof. Thing. So in the in the front, we only. Oh, it's on that. We, it's, we, it's on that. I think it's on that little canopy? just little thing here. Right? Just the number in the front. Put that yeah. On the door. You right. could relocate your sign so there's one on the, on the corner, but you don't only two wall signs. I understand that. Yeah, I think. I think it's fine. If you have a decal, if you have something that says Bella nails someone on your door. Yeah. That's fine. Right? That's okay. fine too, because mm -hmm. then you have it from the, yeah, from we, the uh, we, this is for the cars. Yeah. And the other side too, yeah. but it's for the people walking. Yeah. So they'll figure where the door is. Yeah, it's I said, not that big of a I put something on the door. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Okay. Good. But you show it to us. You send me a revised. Yeah, I will send the colors. colors. I, I'm gonna paint that in charcoal, and then I, I gonna do to match. Right. right. And then this yeah. one needs to say okay. Bella now as well. Exactly. That side as well. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. okay. Great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Good night. So nice to meet you, Mr. Kim. Okay. All right. We are not reviewing ARB number 43, 2023 tonight. They did not have their application materials available in time for review. So we are moving down to ARB number 46, 2023. This is 106 Heights Road for Sparkalicious. Sparkalicious? What, what do you eat at Sparkalicious? Yeah. <laughs> Looking for examples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, how are you doing tonight? Uh, my name is Joshua Ronish. I uh, work for Science Design at JC Auding in Port Chester, New York, and I'm uh, representing Sparklicious. Uh, they're actually a uh, party venue, and they have like craft and uh, glamour parties for for uh, young girls from like three to sixteen, and they uh, they empower young girls to feel uh, proud about themselves, and it's a pretty cool business. That's uh, So what they're they're proposing. The pictures. Which which one you want to go with? What's up? Um, the light box and the mm -hmm. sign package. Josh, your company is um, Sign Design. Yeah, Sign Design. Yeah. Okay. JC Awning. So that's a push through light oh, box, and I actually did go across the uh, the entire span mm -hmm. of the storefront. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there you have it, Dave. Push the, uh, the double arrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> There's two signs. You got the, the uh, push through letter light box here, which is a uh, more of a deep brow. It actually goes out about 18 inches. We're proposing, so it's going to stick out like. Sorry, like that. Okay. This is actually going to be like a brow that comes out about 18 like inches awning, yeah. from okay. the storefront, and it goes across the whole span. Is actually uh, the, the band right here is only about 10 inches, so to fit the the letter to that height. Uh, we brought it up to a 20 inch height box, which brings the, uh, the Sparkalicious logo to only 15 inches. Wait, the band is only 10 inches? Yep, yeah, that band is only 10 inches in that, that location. Oh, and that, okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah, so this actually goes up, there's a, the window comes to, to right here. So it actually mounted the spacer so there's, the snow would actually be able to go through in the rain. Mm -hmm. And there's also a small blade sign. The blade sign is up there? Yep. That's 20 inches. Wow. Okay. And did everybody see where the blade sign was? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's up high. Wait, yeah, that doesn't work. Hard. Yeah. You need Sorry. to bring it down. Sure, we can, we can change the position. But if uh, um, but, that sign comes out 18 inches, if you put the blade behind it, it would. Can you move the blade move it. over one window? Yeah, one how many blades is the there? Or, yeah, yeah one's the business too. Huh? But I think that's their, uh, their entire storefront. Because the doors? Wait, so pop back up here, right, to the front. Yeah. Oh, there's a, of oh, the left there. One bed. Right there. Is. Yeah. yeah. That's part of theirs, I think. Yeah. yeah. Can you put it there? Yeah, we could put it there. Okay. Yeah. And I think all blade sides in the building are eight feet off the ground. Yeah, to the bottom. Which to the bottom. would make sense if you put it in that spot lower. You'd be at eight feet. Yeah. But actually, this is like one of the last um, the last space is in there, so it would make more sense to put the, the blade on this side of it. But because they have more of the foot, foot traffic would be coming from this direction. But at your point, mm -hmm. you wouldn't see it as much with um, your 18 inch. So you're wow. closer to Edgerton Street, right? Um, on that side. It's kind of to the left. If you pull right. into the lot, it's right. on the so left hand side. Edgerton uh, is being designed and, and, and featured more and more as a, one of the strong entrances to the complex. So to your concern about the traffic. Yeah, so it would be traffic, better on that side. It's, it's so. going to be strong. Bear Burger is across the way from you guys. So you're going to get you know, this party. Yeah, we'll put it wherever you need to party. party. Benefit them. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Uh, in that plaza, uh, Van Leeuwen actually did something very similar where they have the, the brow that takes up that whole entrance. And that's yeah. who the, we're modeling that from. Yeah, I feel like, Mr. Humphrey, your point, like, I feel like because there's more depth here and it's, it's over a black window and you've got that, you know, that's the, the grate behind it, that it works better to have the... Mm -hmm. Have it come out a little Yeah, the, mm -hmm. it works here, the window, because of the backdrop. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, 
any of the works, uh, I'm a little concerned with the um, scale of the brow. I mean, 18 inches by 20 inches high, that to me feels really heavy. I can't recall where that's, that's the, the section here. Mm -hmm. Using Van Leeuwen for some of that. Van Leeuwen, yeah, Van Leeuwen is actually 18 inches as well. It's 18 oh, inches out? Okay. Yeah. And that doesn't, that doesn't look. That doesn't look. Is it the same width? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. double door. And, and visually, that's uh, 18 inches there for my fingers out. So it really isn't a lot. And, and at that height and that, and that yeah. width, it doesn't look. Mm -hmm. I, guess I don't mind it in a way because it's like it's. It, ch it changes your articulation a bit, unlike a uh, somewhat, mo not to use monolithic, that's yeah, right, but, but it drops yeah. out. Yeah, it gives it, yeah. The is further back, flatter to the facade. Well, we're kind of that size, too, because the S is so big in their logo that the rest of the text would be, like, pretty tiny mm -hmm. if you made it any shorter. Mm -hmm. I think you could probably make a side it's wing. Yeah. The S, you know. Um, well, that's, their, that's their actual logo. Yeah, no. you can reduce the overall height of the sign band and have the S come above it, but I mean, oh. I'm not going to redesign there. But this is actually halo lit, so I wouldn't work with the. <coughs> oh, because it's push through. Yeah, it's halo lit or push through? It's push through with an opaque face. So at okay. night, if you look at, if you scroll down, you'll see like what the illumination would look like at night. With the, or actually, it's up. up mm -hmm. right so the night. You'd have that image where it kind of glows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah, and the panels on the on either side of the door of Van Leeuwen are much smaller than yours. I'd say they're half the size. So I think that's why this feels like a much larger element than Van Leeuwen. It's not a great picture, but yeah. Like the, the, the width. Oh, yeah. The width. <coughs> the the length. The side on both the, side of the, the width. The entrance assembly is yeah. much smaller. There's, there's, there's a bit of. You know, there's a lot of unused. Yeah. And I think also the color. Right, the color blend. Yeah. yeah. Van we need to move along. I'm okay with the board. Everyone's okay? Yeah. I, I wish you were. Did you measure Van Yeah. 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 I actually have their. Uh, their architectural drawings and everything. You know, I actually um, proposed it with Federal first. They had to approve the artwork and it falls within their criteria. I mean, that's it. That's yeah. not, is that? It's going to be bigger. It's going to be a little less. But it's also darker. It's going to be a little less. Seriously, it's going to be a little less. It's going to be darker. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mind it less because it's black. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm it's wondering, cool. is that mover above? I checked for the obstructions. There's only actually one, one exhaust pipe right up here in the top, okay. so I'm not obstructing anything. And that, that's one of the things I made sure of. It's kind of too bad. The All right. I guess it's Mr. Humphrey. Nope. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So it's a favorable report with new PDFs though that show the change in the blade sign. Sure. The blade Just sign one is position it over to this side. In between, in, right yep, there, right in between right the there. windows. Right. Right. Nope, not there. No, no, no. On the vertical. Right on the vertical. Nope. 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 Yeah. 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 And so the bottom of the blade sign, the bottom is 18, 8 feet off the ground. Yeah. Yep. As, as you'll see every other tenant is. And your blade sign, just to clarify on record, is not illuminated. Correct. Correct. Okay. So that's a favorable report with the PDF, but no administrative report. No, I um, think it's Inches. No admin approval certificate, yes. right, Liz? You don't need that. I will send you. A, an, I'll send. I'll do a letter. I'll okay. do a chairman letter for you. But as long as you get that PDF, yeah. with the PDF, sure. we'll put it in the file. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have it tomorrow morning. Yeah, you'll be faster than making that PDF. I'm mm -hmm. confident. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. The, uh, Mrs. Hart had made it, the point about how it's a 35 inch blade sign, which does. Work. That's okay. 35. I think Inch 40 max. was the maximum that they ordered. That's, that's huge. That is, is it? huge. We haven't approved anything over 30 inches. What was the regulation? Oh, it's 30. Oh, I thought it's a. Oh, the blade, uh, the sign itself is. 
skinny, that sticks smaller, out 39 shorter. inches. Maybe it can be together. sparkle issues. <laughs> <laughs> sparkle. Just sparkle. Or so vertical. What was the, what was the, what had been, 30 inches? I don't remember what was the maximum. Could have been. A lot of them are I think, um, um, size. Size. Federal would actually provide me with the... Can you pull it out back? Can you show us 35 inches on your thing? It's one inch short of three feet. It's long. It's 35. And, and it's one and a half. It stands for one and a half. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. That's a, okay. That's yeah. It's all and the, and that's just for context, all the signage there is between 18 and 20 feet long. So this is going to stick out. I think all the double. biggest. The, that sticks out quite the biggest one. Like 30 inches with a two inches. Can it go vertical? Yeah, they had actually given oh, me the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just that's the smallest sparkle. Just shrink it down. I don't know, 30, 30 inches, guys, with the two inches off the wall? Yeah, yeah. 30 I will approve. Okay. With two inches off the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, 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 yeah. What's the depth on the wall you see? Because I remember we debated this with uh, Gregory's Coffee. I think they went two inches, or we've been doing four? No, two inches is good. Two yeah, inches two is good. Inches. Yeah, okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah, because between the four and a half and the thirty minutes, and like, yeah, thirty inches, pop out thirty the inches in relationship to some of the ones we have there. <coughs> thirty inches will still be yeah, long. It will still be long, but it's okay. It's unique. I like yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. The, the longest, as long as it's not longer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, three inches long, two inches off the building. Now. Okay. Yep. So new PDS to Hervé. Once he confirms he has those, and they meet that that, that change, the location change of those, um, I'll get you. A, I'll get you a favorable report. Okay. And okay. Then after that, you file a building permit. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The rest of your Thank you. Hopefully no traffic on the way home for you. Oh, it, you'll be good. You'll be good. Well, I'm sure they're doing some construction somewhere. I'll be going better so I can do it anyway. <laughs> All right, last application of the night is um, ARB number 47, 2023 for 7 Sedgwick Avenue. This is under new business. We're considering a new application because it's a whole new design. We reviewed this location at least three times at this point, so this is a fresh application. Bob, you're okay with the uh, PowerPoint presentation? I 11, uploaded the PowerPoint that one, right? so if you want to just, I have it on my screen here. Sure. But you you can, my navigating mm -hmm. so far it's working. I just have to figure out how to work my computer. Oh. Are they still the other button? Start slide. Sure, you go. Forgot. Have them yeah, this chart. Oh, sure, absolutely. Okay. I think that's. I think that's the one with the blue tree, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. This one is. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Okay. I have to get coordinated here because I'm not uh, I'm not used to doing it this way. Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, Attorney Robert Maslin representing the applicant, 7 Sedgwick Avenue LLC. And with me are uh, Chip Platts, who you've seen before, a, the principal of uh, 7 Sedgwick, and Mark Andre is here as well, the architect. And we have um, available by phone because you're not live uh, on a live telecast here we can't really kind of talk to him in landscape whatever but Jordan Felber is the landscape designer so if any questions come up uh, we can reach we can, him we can reach him so uh, with Irve's help I've uh, put into this PowerPoint almost everything that's on the application page except for the narrative obviously that whole input page and just a couple of slides so so i started with the photographs i'll zip through these 
you've seen him before. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Irve, if you could go down, you flip right through these. There's about, I don't know, eight or ten of them. It's a reminder of the beauty. It's just kind of the beauty. That's the existing <laughs> building. The beauty, yes. Well, and how offset it is from the road, too. Mm -hmm. The space given there. That's the beautiful parking area with all that landscaping and uh, all that. That's so inter keep, interesting. Keep how close it is. Keep going. Keep going. 800 Post Road, 800 over here, 777 over here, and I don't know the number of Houlihan Lawrence, but that's the Houlihan Lawrence building. The firehouse, um, this is 745 Post Road that was built, oh, I don't know, eight, ten years ago, something like that. And the Royal, which uh, is where Old Town Hall Homes used to be. And that red building is mostly medical, I think, and it's across the street from Old Town Hall Homes or the Royal. So now we get to this uh, proposal. So flip to the next slide, please. This is the cover sheet to the plan set. And if you go to the next slide, we have a perspective rev rendering from the intersection um, these renderings had larger trees originally, and as a result of comments we received back, we revised them and cut down the size of the trees so you could see the facade. Uh, so that's uh, this photograph, or rendering rather. Next, this one is from Sedgwick. Uh, again, we cut down quite a bit on the size of the trees here, but uh, this is the rendering. Next. <coughs> This rendering is from Old Kings Highway North. That's the entrance drive. Over here is a, a um, loading area that'll be outside for deliveries and people moving in and so on. Amazon. Uh, sprinkled through the site are some, I think this is one of them, a bicycle rack uh, and a few other places as well. You know, you can't touch the so, screen. So, up, just go up a little. Oh, I, is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. There you are. Okay, okay that's next, where we were. Next. Okay, okay. okay. overhead perspective of the corner. And I think this is just about above the traffic circle as you're looking down. Next. Uh, this is a uh, an extension of the public plaza area off the back corner of the site. Uh, 800 Post Road is along here, and the, the little vacant patch of land that's owned by the fire department is down toward the bottom of the page. So now we get to the elevations with corresponding uh, renderings. Cedric Avenue, Oak Kings Highway. Next, uh, this is from the, the public plaza patio area is over on this end of the building outside. That was that uh, overhead perspective that you saw a few slides ago. And this is the back of the building that, that faces uh, the municipal or the, I guess the railroad parking lot. Okay, next, mm -hmm. next. Material, we have some <laughs> we have material board here that's clapboard. Just, that's, the um, that's that's brick. But th this is give you a sense of uh, uh, the build, building materials and the crust stone in the lower right hand. Is corner. the siding a hardy plank or just regular wood? It's wood a hardy plank. Board. It's a hardy plank. It says nickel yeah. here, yeah. which is a different. That's that's more of a flattened piece. Or is it is it clapboard or is it like a tongue and groove? Do they thing? look the same? They look the same. They pretty much they pretty much look the same. But the, the, I don't Which know why it? this says nickel. I guess it's clapboard. Clapboard. It's hardy clapboard. clapboard. It's hardy. Hardy clapboard. But it's a, certainly a, a plat, uh, And that's the selected it's, color. What's the color? It's like a gray green. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a gray green. green. Okay. Okay. Nice. okay. Nice. Yeah. Next. Okay, this is a, an overview, uh, you can call it like a first floor floor plan, the parking area is underneath and that's 
kind of at the first level. From the entrance drive around the corner to the exit. Oops. Well, well, I can't, I can't come that, back. That one's myself. It's slightly easier to read. That one's actually better. Right. Is it? Okay. So oh, the nice. plaza area itself runs along to the exit driveway and then hops over the exit driveway, picks up on the other side runs, picks up over here, all the way back to this area back here. Picnic tables and sitting area. We have bicycle racks. There are um, benches. There's a bench here. And seven benches. Seven, seven, seven benches sprinkled eight. about. <clears throat> Next. I'll get used to this eventually. This is uh, the <coughs> landscaping. <coughs> excuse me, landscaping plan <coughs> uh, focused on the corner. And the next slide is uh, kind of as you head toward the exit driveway, and then uh, the other corner of the site. And 800 Post Road is off to the right of the picture. Um, next slide. And that's the rear portion with this public plaza space here. And this is actually off-site. Public plaza is also accessible through here. Sorry? The public plaza is also accessible through this portion? Um, or not? I'm not sure. That's part of the municipal parking lot. We, okay. We, we, could, so, we could work on that if you want. Who, who's that really using that? that? I'm just curious. I, mean, Sorry? I, I love it. It's a great idea. Who, who do you see using that? People at 800 Post Road, and I can I can confirm that myself because when I was in an office at 800 Post Road, there was a picnic table in between 800 Post Road and what's now the nail salon. I don't know who owned that, but we use that all the time. Go grab your Starbucks, come back, sit down, take a break. From it just the seems to touch away with never know was there. That's all. And so, it's right up right up to the property line, so it's easy yeah. to get to from the. From the parking lot that's, that's uh, what I would behind 800, so that's possible. Um, you know, it's there for whoever wants to wants to use it. In the renderings, it shows that whole area surrounded by grass. So where does your property end? The and line's What's here. grass? That's where line. that line. line. So you're not doing any new grassing. So that was that was that rendering accurate? Then are you surrounded by grass there? Uh, that's correct. Sometimes. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, we can go back to the. Can you go back to the pictures, Irving? Um, I think I have something that will show. There, good that job. Area. Yeah. So your line, well, you're developing right up the line with 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 like with plantings and planters. Yeah, yeah, those are at the, those the property line. But then foreground of that would be Whatever's that's not existing. That, right. Which is what? grass. If you were to invite to if you were to invite people from the other properties, so you probably would want to. Somehow encourage a passage or path, right? Well, we could. Yeah. I mean, we could do that if that's the goal. Or they could yeah. use the use the side. They could yeah. use the sidewalk and then get get okay. to it along the footpath. My concern, by the way, I'm gonna I'll put I'll play it now. I'm concerned that that's all surrounded by paving. If it's paving, that's a different outlook than what this is. If it's grass all around, this is this is great, accurate. Great. I just so, uh, I've been back there. I don't know any grass anymore back there. Yeah, this is grass over there. Okay, right here. Let's go to the Don't touch the This screen. is that area that's owned by the fire department. Mm -hmm. This is all grass, and then it goes to the parking lot. This is actual, there's a strip of grass here, and then that's parking lot. So, so strip of grass, and then that's parking lot. Yeah. Where the tree is, is a parking lot. Yes, yeah. Is there a tree there or a plan for a tree yeah. there? So we can, the existing Google site view was going to show us what's um, if we, yeah, yeah go to photo one right at the beginning, Irving. Um, you did a good job, Irving. And if we have to, we can just go to the GIS and see it. But keep going. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. There's a strip um, of grass. Yeah. Talking about yeah. down in here. Yeah. There, are some, there are some trees. It's it's some trees. Some yeah. This, yeah. this is grass, grass, but this is on yeah. 800. Right. And That's then this part. Oops. Oops. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Then along here, that parking lot is almost right up to the boundary. Yeah. So this there triangle, may be a little bit more. This triangle. Hold on. This is a triangle. Yeah. This is grass. I didn't touch it too. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready so, to so this is 
the triangle that's owned, actually owned by the fire department. Okay. This is all grass and trees. Okay. okay. And then you have the strip. See the grass strip? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's their property. Okay, and then the sidewalk so would right, be just to the, to the side right of that grass. You're right up to that line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it is grass. We'll, we'll change it if you want to. That, that picture. I just want to make sure the perspective to weigh in. Okay, that's and, great. That context helps. That the reason far. is a lot of people walk. It's not that far. A lot of people there walk through the, this, this area. Yeah, and, true, I mean, we're proposing this. A lot of people from here will, yeah, will so use it. It may be a path. And a path. And a path. And a path. And the path. Okay, thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. All right, where do we leave off? Um, <coughs> Uh, materials. I there. think yeah. uh, we're there. There. Yeah. yeah. I think that's okay. it. So the base map shows the boundary. In fact, the courses and distances are still written in here. So that, that's the boundary. Okay. Okay. Next is just details. It's uh, just a construction. Yes. And the next mm -hmm. is same thing. A, a, vert a, a cross section of grass, I guess. But these are pictures of mm -hmm. the various uh, plantings, and there's quite a few of them, <coughs> as you can see. And then the next slide is uh, a complete planting list that's online as well. This is part of the uploaded materials. Lighting is next. Um, it, when you're looking at what's online, You'll see these little weird kind of things. These are um, what's this right? is called candle about full cloth. I guess it's the direction and which way the light shines. Uh, and so good. So we'll we'll take a look here. Wall over the entrance. Wall 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 over uh, this entrance over here. Exit over here. Yeah. That's better. That's all right. Let's see that. Okay. Uh, and then these are pedestals. And you'll see a picture of them in a, in a moment. They're about, about three feet high or so. And then... They're goosenecks. Wall, wall. No, you'll see. Yes. No. Yeah, the yeah, goosenecks are, are on the wall. These Those are the along the uh, footpaths. And this is what? This is kind of a dusk rendering. Um, I think he asked somebody a little while ago for something like this. Is this what you were talking about? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And here's your gooseneck with the specs and the pedestal with those specs. Okay. And yeah, Next. Pedestrian circulation. Now, I don't know how much of this is part of your review, but I remember comments about pedestrian circulation. So there's a sidewalk around the perimeter of the site at the corner. And the next slide shows kind of this zigzag pattern in that public plaza area at the corner. It's a number of uh, footpaths that'll get you the way to through the landscape and take the building. That's, to the all, that's all the papers. Yep. And benches. How many did you say? Seven. I think seven or eight. Seven. No, eight. Yep. There's seven or eight. And we went through this pretty quickly for you. And I'm hopeful that you had a chance to take a look at what's online. Um, so I, I appreciate that you pulled the building away from yep. that edge. Thank you for doing that, because it makes Absolutely. Yeah. a huge difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And that you spoke to the rotary, right? Like we talked about, that, that made, made the entrance off the rotary, which was very made important. Made around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Element in Darien. The other good thing about that is it, it opens up a sight line. Yes, 100%. At the corner, and as long as these are low plantings, uh, or trees with the higher canopies like that, it, it's good for sight line. We, uh, we listened to all your comments from the three letters, so we went through those. Uh, myself, Mark, and Jordan really worked on this and we went through each letter to your concerns 
and we even put a carriage in there with a woman pushing it. Carriage. I, I, I noticed it. There's a bicycle in there. I literally saw it. I was like, they listened we, to we that meeting. Did, did they you. play back the meeting? Like, remember that? You said you did something. You know, I, I, well, I it's thought funny. of, I thought of <laughs> going through your letters right there and the comments yes. and so going yeah, one was by it one. one of those letters. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was. <laughs> But, but rather than go comment by comment by comment, I thought this is such a different application. Let me just let's just do let's it. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the funny she thing is, it would go back with one of our meetings. Chip, we said like you know we were talking about being pedestrian friendly, and you, you said if you go there, you'll never see a pedestrian walking down the street. We're like, and this is the problem. <laughs> You're creating. We no, help fix the problem. So yeah. this is what we're talking about. The, the people also, want to walk here, and they'll want to walk. I, I, I also appreciate that you thought about cyclists. Right, as yeah. part of this, and yeah. just like all that whole ecosystem of how a, 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 a village works, a town right. works, right? And um, just we, huge we, we, we anchored uh, the one side of the property on Old Kins Highway with the bike rack, yeah, and then we anchored the other side of the property on Sedgwick, and then we have our own bike racks inside for the, the parking for the lot for the people yeah, that live inside the, the building. Right. So there's plenty of bike racks for people to, to use. You lead points if you want. You, that's right. You yeah. If you've driven <laughs> through Norwalk recently, you'll see these bicycle lanes all over the place. Yeah. And uh, so it's I guess just an attraction this is, yeah. for your residents, right? I mean, that's, <coughs> yeah. you know, a certain demographic is looking for that. You know, oh, that's 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 that. So I've got there's, there's many great things. I'm going to go to more constructive feedback because I could, we could go over that and send you guys praises for all these great things mm -hmm. you had. Um, one of my big things is I'm still, I'm struggling with picking a, a, a style here. Like I feel like sometimes it's colonial and sometimes it's a, it's a uh, like a warehouse style. Like and I, and I wish it would be one or the other. Like for like the, on the brick, like the. Shutters on the brick aren't working for me. I had the same. Color. And I like, and I like, I love a gooseneck lamp. But at the same time, I'm like, does a gooseneck work with like more of this like, you know? I don't know. Help me out here. So, with so I, think, I think there are some uh, the breakdown in proportion. I think is right. Yes. Of, of the different things, I think the material breakup between the brick and the siding is right. I think the 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 windows with the shutters gets a little quaint, right? And so I, I I think I know why you're adding the shutters is to create a little bit more of that width, right? So that there's a proportion of opening. Uh -huh. but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a different window. Like a bigger window. window. Would you it's rather a double window. This all the way through. No, 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 no. the shutters are there. Like a double. Yeah, double. Yeah, maybe window. It's a double. And it's a little. No shutters at all here. Shutters. Yeah, but those are a tighter spacing. It's, it's the width. The, the it's the width. Wi it's the width visual width. width so with the shutters, so you put two. So it looks like you close the shutter and it doesn't completely cover the window. No, it's just the style of the shutter doesn't. doesn't so you want to view. remove the shutters? It's not. You remove the, the shutters and you and had two, wind. two windows, perhaps, yeah. or maybe well, we, we don't know larger. what the floor plan is to support that's, that. That's that's yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's just a larger window that is a little cleaner that isn't so. It's six over one. Yeah. But the, you know, the, so the width is good though. But I'm wishing because the shutters add the width. That's a problem. like because I don't want to lose that width of the window. But a, a larger window, ideally with no, with no shutters. Right. That's is, what I'm saying. I, yes. That's I'm what I'm saying. What I just a wider window. Just a wider window. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. proportionally having two double ones next to it, like mold together. I'd be concerned about just getting these wide windows. Right. So you think two double ones that are narrow, narrower, but make up May, that Well, width? If, if you could, I think. The, so the six over one portion is nice. It could be a little bit narrower to. So you're saying two points. Yeah, just yeah, yes. two mold together. Two four over one. But again, yeah. I don't know how the interior, the right interior would would support that or but not. But if if your if your current setup is you've got the window with the two shutters, mm -hmm. that can that's I, the width. Can right? I yeah. show you this? It looks a little better on on my screen here. I don't <laughs> think it's, 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 it's just a little clearer. No, 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 we, we see, see it. it. We can see it. We can see it. it. I think it's the it's, it's the style. It's the vocabulary it's of all the different elements, right? And I, you're, you, we were just. I was there. just trying to bring yeah. in a, a different to to try to break the building up and make yeah. it and look like it, yeah. that's, yeah. that's a section yeah. of a different looking building versus everything the same. Yeah. You yeah. know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I, I really was trying to to like. 
that's a focal point because it's the end exit. Yeah. So I just throwing a shutter on it just to trust it up. If you don't like it, we can pull well, it off and try I to go with a larger window. Maybe you push the envelope even a little bit more. You know, maybe you embrace this idea that like it's actually it's one building, but it, like all the other buildings that are going up, cropping up around Darien right now, it's one building, but it looks like it's two or three, you know? Um, well, and right. I think you can have that a little bit clearer if you have colonial brick on the left, then you have clapboard, but what if the center is, you know, brick, more of a warehouse, like the, the trim is black, you know? Um, so then it just changes a little bit while keeping some of the so brick and elements how, the how about if we do a black window on that and pull mm -hmm. the shutter off yeah and a, a black trim black window trim. instead yeah. of white yeah i can yeah. do a black trim That's, window yeah. That, yeah. That would, and that'll break it up yeah. and I'll, yeah. I'll 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 we'll see if we can get a little bit wider in there that would be yeah yeah because yeah. you because the, the the symmetry the way the way it lines up is is nice you want that width because you otherwise you'll get lost if the windows stay without the shutters will be it, the, it won't look right. Yeah, the, it'll be too heavy on brick, and you'll yeah, you have the balance with the so center doors. So a, a, a black trim, even on the center, on the center doors yeah, also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on the entrance door and on the bottom. And that's fine. You can, you can do yeah. the different oh, language when it's brick, it's yep. black. When black. it's not yeah. brick, it's white. So you but, can start. Well, like These are inside. Right? I like the white in the middle. middle. On the left. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I actually I do have a question about this because when I was looking at these drawings, Mark Andre's question. How are you able to get that much shadow out of these windows? Are they projecting out quite a bit so that uh, they have shadow boxes? They're like shadow boxes, so they stick out. So I, I just want to bring mm. that to your attention because that really that's is cool. important like in the aesthetic yeah, and it's really nice. Cool but I just you know, for in terms of construction, there is it's not a not a window flush with the br with the brick. It's a window that's projecting out. out. How much do they project? So about like that's like inches. eight inches, yeah, inches at least uh, eight inches. No, there. That's, that's a stair. <coughs> hmm? yeah, a typical. Now the yes. shadow boxes, the windows don't project out. The trend that frames the windows Correct. projects right. out to yeah. create the shadow. Okay. Now, the, so if you if you would prefer to see the window sticking out almost like like a bay window, mm -hmm. we we can also achieve that. They it will be they similar. Cut, they almost look like they're Correct. they're heading that way in terms of the depth of that shadow, Correct. in terms of the you know the light. Yeah. I mean, this is a middle of the day yeah. lighting, and you get this big relief we, underneath of the sill there. So that's mm -hmm. we, we certainly can do that. The only reason I say this is because I used to do renderings for them. Yeah, so. yeah. we that's we great. certainly can do that and. Um, we can do the same treatment with the other facade at the exit, we, um, but that probably would be best without the shutters. Yeah, I mean, I like the idea of doing it in black trim, so that it, it's, it's almost a standalone building, mm -hmm. right? From just over the that just, one part, right. we're going to do the. I'll yeah. have them change the, yeah. the, the black the windows yeah. and the the exit brick mm -hmm. right. yeah. portion. That's yes. just that same one black section. windows. Yeah. Black trim at the yep. bricks. At the yep. on no, that, at the just that section. Just that. Section. Just that section. The white the windows. Exit. Yeah, that that's fine. That's popping yeah. out. That looks good. That looks great. Yeah. Okay. I think the way. I had it that way, but they changed it. On. <laughs> no, nothing but nothing but equipment and a parapet around the roof. Mm. So there's no more pool up there or anything else. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that is a huge amount of work to get to this. It's it's a really it's a really fantastic. Yeah, and in terms of where where, where it was before Appreciate and where it's now, it's just yes. I mean there's a lot of design work that went into this. Thank you. Just you want to say that for the record. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Really when we opened the package, it was like whoa. Okay. I, now, I do now. think the the curb entry could use some more Wait, attention. Hold up before you go to curb entry. I just want to recap on that one side. Sorry, Dave. Don't sure. lose that. On that so on that exit brick building, mm -hmm. black trim windows, black trim on the door, like. Uh, and you've got iron, black iron rods, and you're increasing the window size as much as possible, the width of the windows. So yes. we can eliminate yeah, the shutters. So you have yeah. shutters. Normal. It's the same, yeah. So it's, 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 it looks it's, it's the yeah. same, it's same distance as if the shutters were there. It's all window now. Okay. Like a warehouse. That's a feel. Like a warehouse. Yeah. Actually, there's okay. there something about that bay over the exit, like that. Uh, it, that's in the clapboard. I'm wondering if that would be better if it's just all trimmed. Yeah, down. I would rather th rather than having the clapboard kind of like Wait, there's just one? not enough of the clapboard there in that which central one? element over the opening. Well, I over think the it's a, that that's yeah. Yeah. just, just the element that's not going to add a lot. Oh, so you're here. Just have a brick here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I won't be here. No, that's uh, the bed. No, the right. day that's projecting. Yeah. Well, you could. Really? Wait, so are we talking about the same thing? Right. On the center green clapboard <laughs> on each side of the Yeah, window. I missed oh, that. Right. No, we weren't. What I was, so, I would was that what I would recommend is actually oh, save the money. Do it all over. Don't all change. All break. Don't I wouldn't do a clapboard. Yeah, 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 Decrease the amount of work area. But that, that's a 16 foot door. I mean, so. That's a lot. I mean, mm. it, that's 16? I just mean, it's the area of the clapboard, it, even on the interior, it doesn't have to. My question to you, more like my question to you, like, would be, that can't do be we trim 16, it that's with, uh, oh, I'm going to use this loosely, more like all white? Like, or you would, you you would prefer to. Black. I, like white trim or brick? Or the clapboard that it is now, but just make it wider so you see more of it, so it doesn't feel like it's. You know, it just feels like it's too straight. Yeah, the, the, the strips of the clapboard yeah. just seem a little bit too So if you do an eight inch, eight inch, inch uh, uh, the largest the, the, on the clapboard is the eight inch. So do we have any issue with it eliminating the clapboard and just having a narrower center thing? Yeah, so that's that, just the trend. So it's just that, the trend. I would be very comfortable with that. Right, and I mean your your exit um, width is going to be wider, but as you go up in that center section, it's just narrower and black. Just because you see that with a lot of bays that are especially on brick buildings, they are just trim. They 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 don't have another right. material. Probably depends right. on how big those windows no, no, no. can get. Those trim they can't get bigger. There's going to be a lot of yeah, those are brick areas. Yeah, but it's yeah. yeah, that's true. That is that's a concern. That's just the right. So so mm -hmm. that. So let me see if um, we're on the same page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just this box here, the brick section at the exit. Yep. That facade. We're going to remove the shutters. Yes. We're going to increase the size of the window slightly. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's going to be all black windows. Yes. The bay window that projects out, just the window size, I think it's going to have to be somewhat dependent on we, the we, layout, we can, but you can make yeah, it. Yeah, we can. Well, I can, I can do a couple things. Okay. The portion of the brick that's sticking out, I can shrink it slightly to have the same visual effect, to, to, to eat up a little bit of the yeah. wall space. We can do that. Yeah. The bay window, I can slightly enlarge it if needed, but then we will trim it as trim not siding materials around the windows and, right. the, and the metal railing. Right. And that's going to be all black. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the casing around the, the opening at the exit, that will be similar uh, finishes. So all the, all the casings are black, all the windows are black, the frame around the, the exit of the garage, that's going to be all black with the, with the, with the red brick. Yep. Cool. Yep. yep. It's it feels British to me, just in the colors. Just mm. all around this yeah. Yes. British. British. British? London. We are New Brick, England. Brick and black. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. <Jay. laughs> <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I'd like to do yeah. bike rack. <laughs> bike rack. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's bike racks in every, yeah. every one of these. Mark, these, 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 are, these are successful, right? Or do you seem to agree? Oh, no, you, you can go ahead. Uh, just the, kind of all the way on the right-hand side, like the cutouts for those balconies. Which bother? Yeah, exactly, right right there. Mm -hmm. Those bother me a little bit, and maybe that's going to change when we change this brick facade to more of a warehouse feel, but they didn't feel like they kind of, these old porches. See, I like yes. them, so and that's why the change to the brick is going to be better, because it will have a little bit more of a contemporary feel. Uh, right, so that's what I'm saying. Time. If they work really well, well. Mike, Mike kind of may change. What's that? That works really well on, really on, well. on that side too. Yeah. You kind of you have to play around. I, I, I hear what you're saying. They are they are a bit of a departure from from uh, what it, we're it used to seeing. A little bit too much of a departure, especially when they're sitting next to the windows with the shutters on it. My one suggestion this shutters could be to you know put an ASAC board between them to kind of make it not so they're so individual um, in the openings. To so like link the them vertically? Yeah, like, you know, like a white. Oh, instead of like know, a punched opening like they are. I don't yeah, know, so like they're still openings, but they 
a little bit Which, more as one element, so it's not just like you're talking about where we have the two separate. Oh, you mean combine these as yeah. one frame? You trim them out to still be the openings to serve the purpose that they have, but then read a little bit more as a like vertical design element. Mm -hmm. So again, it, that may change once this facade, facade is redesigned with a more warehouse feel. But so the way it is right now, that was one of my comments. You're saying combine the, the two frames instead of having two individual frames around the, the balconies. I mean, infor again, unfortunately, they may be okay as is when you change this okay. facade to a more warehouse feel. But, um, so give that a look when, after you change. Think yeah, about we can, we can yeah. look at both of yeah. thought again maybe play, would be maybe, right. maybe, you know, connect them by, you know, a panel, mm -hmm. um, you know, a white panel. In between Volumetrically, which is something the Planning and Zoning Commission will be interested to hear about, I think that that sounds like you guys are in pretty much in agreement that this is a better or a good direction, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, well, trying to try to, try to, to, try to anchor a few things is like, okay, this is, this is not going to change. <coughs> The silhouette, the roof, the line, and all that seems that, that they're well received. One other minor thing. We gotta go to the other side of the building okay. now before you jump to that. One other minor thing, just on this, um, at the top of the clapboard sections, mm -hmm. it feels like the the clapboard just gets to, you know, what is a little um, you know, drip edge. I'm wondering, even if it's the same color, could there be a wider fascia band? At the yeah, top, we, kind of, we can yeah. increase the oh. trim of the parapet. Put like a cap on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 kind of fill in the same yeah. color, yeah. but just yeah. something yeah. to kind of define. I think it's the top kind of skinny. It, it, it almost yeah. happens there. Yeah, but we were, again, we were trying to come not make the building look the same. Level. The same. Yeah. You know, we're trying to break it up. That's. But we can put a cap on it if you like a cap. It, 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 it per personally doesn't bother me that it doesn't have that, but it has a, just a, a more yeah. modern edge. Yeah, the, I think the brick having the, the stronger right. band, yeah. yeah, there's that distinction between the two. Because yeah. then if you if you have the same heavy band at the top, then it's going to make it a little bit more linear. So, uh, but we were trying to keep it simple on the clapboard and then with the brick you know, have a different border on the top. But if you yeah. if if you want to see, we will. Well, it may, it may appear a little bit different with the other changes to mm -hmm. obstruction wise. Which part has a parapet in the back, and which part is doesn't? When we you're you're raising the height uh, up and down, is there one that has a, a full three foot or, or parapet, and another one that's a little lower? Because for a safety reason, you're going to have to put like those. Railings, you know, further in so, and all the mechanical and all that yeah, so, stuff. Yeah, um, so I mean, the, the safety uh, portion we can address that only around the mechanical equipment mm -hmm. when it comes to the the, par the parapet around the building. So we're we're playing with the different height where we have the brick. We wanted the bricks to be a little bit higher than where we have the clapboard, okay. mm -hmm. but they don't necessarily have to have meet the code requirement as far as this was an accident. So not accessible roof. Exactly, it's a non accessible. So we can make the, at the clockwork, we can make the parapet barely a foot above the surface. We can, at the brick, we can make it maybe another extra foot. Um, I think in, in our drawing, we, we were playing either with 42 inches um, to give it a little bit more scale, and then the other one probably about a foot or, or two lower. You, you can see it. Actually, you can see it better yeah. in this photo, yeah. where you can see this. The brick was higher than the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. That's why I brought it up. Mm -hmm. The elevation is yeah. up with that as well. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. tough yeah. to yeah. see. Yeah. Um, can we go to the there's one side along Old Kings Highway? Um, that back side. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I struggle with this side a little bit. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It feels a little flat, I guess I'd say. Is that an angle? That's the back. It's multiple sides yeah, looking at really the same time because yeah. the building not is not. Yeah. It's, bending. Okay. it's not hard Yeah, it's multiple. Yeah. If, if you go to the 
Yeah, the four point. Which one is that? No, King's Highway? Yeah, just no. if you... The Sedgwick one no, looks... No, no. No, if you show the floor plan, you would actually... Go to the floor plan. Hmm? Yeah. All right. King's Highway. There. Yeah, that one. That's, 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 that's the view you look at. That's what it looks pretty... Yeah. It's different on, on the rendering because there's more. Yeah. Because the building, imagine it's a pie. So if you, when you're looking at the straight shot, you're looking at two two sides, mm -hmm. you know, in the same plane when it's actually not. And you have yeah. a lot of pull and push in the facades. I don't know, maybe playing with something, another option for the um, for the shutters, maybe that versus the flat panel shutters. Maybe do you consider like a loop shutter or like a, I don't know. Let me think. No one has a comment on it. I, I yeah, can't. No, I, I agree that north elevation. Just, it doesn't bother me here. Leave them out all the way around, and then you're not. Oh, maybe remove the shutters. Yeah, I, I, no, I like on the cloud. You like the shutters, shutters actually? Yeah. More, but, yeah but there, you also yeah. have like the, the double, you know, the, the two double lines next to each other on the side. Of, you know, you know it's filling in a little. Mm -hmm. little Are they, mm -hmm. I know. I think what it is. The shutters. I want to be properly mounted. Real shutters. Not. Oh, with the hardware? Not drilled on hardware. I'm not seeing that yet. That's what it is. I couldn't get... Oh, yeah, just, I know what you're saying. Yeah, right? Just, when you see that Working on the house, shutter. you see it's just a Drill, yeah, it's fine shutter. It looks, looks terrible. Like, oh, yeah, it looks yeah. It cheapens yeah. it. So I'd love to see, um, yeah, hardware, the shutters. Like, whatever. It could, it could be simple. Like, new, like a New England hardware to match, yeah, like black, an upward hardware. Yeah, black, 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 yeah, black yeah. to make the same iron that you use for your railings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then apply them, like, as working shutters. Okay. There we go. Um, and then let's talk about the front of the building, you said? Yeah. Yeah, the entry. The entry of the curve. Yeah. Yep. I think it's, I think it's a good approach. I just think like the balconies, there's something I don't know if it's like too many elements or the way the elements are coming together. It needs to be black. There's, maybe, uh, maybe. No, it does. Can I have any, any I, color as I had it as black. black. I got all this. I, there's some, I, I agree with you. I think it's, um, it has slightly commercial feel to yeah. it. That, that, like a commercial yeah. building rather than a residential building. Yeah, like an empty store wall or something. Right, like or an office building. Right. right. Yeah. And so maybe there's something about the proportion of the windows. I don't think it's so much the curve. The curve there? itself doesn't bother right. me. Yeah, I mean, but it could become cool. much more of like yeah, a turret um, element, and, and I don't know. I, I think it's too big. Again, actually, maybe, maybe here that's again the clapboard maybe isn't the right material for you. Maybe, maybe it is something more of a paneled, mm. you know, mm. kind of like makes a statement more mm. as the entrance. It's distinguishing itself a little bit more. I, I don't think the balconies are, are really doing. It. It any favors. I, I think it's really just like you say. It it's needs to read as a residential entrance. Yeah. But that um, that balcony participates in terms of almost like as an awning. Correct. Uh, as far as an awning goes, that that's okay. But I I think uh, and I, I just talked about it now. Is that I think that the use of the clapboard there, to me, maybe it's not as needed there. It's it's appropriate on on the massing. But this being the entry, making it a little bit more of a an architectural element. Like this is the only way so I can describe it. Like, like pan, like panels and and trim, and, and just it, it basically gets dressed. So we can panel yeah. So would you um, would I I think we can that curvature. We can panel the whole thing. We can bring it all the way down to. Uh, I think the, the base underneath the belt, underneath the awning, though, as is that brick now? I mean, no, maybe that's mostly like the brick comes across there or something. It's I, all glass. I think it. having that, oh, it's all glass. So it's all. So glass. yeah, so that has a base. So that the that's the base, the base, correct? Yeah, it starts at the balcony. Yeah. Maybe. So I mean, it's our articulation above that. Yeah. Yeah. So w would you? Let's talk about the lobby, the main entrance. That's mm -hmm. the lobby portion. Okay. Um, is that like full height lobby? Correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, it's yes. Okay. Um, we we can remove some glazing and introduce uh, the same paneling from above, or we can leave the whole. Um, I think the the lobby should be a little bit more should be more open. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I would keep the treatment there with more glazing. Yep. Um, and then above it, 
the, the balcony above the, the, the overhang, that's where the residential portion of the building starts. And I think it's, instead of just having just a bit, just an overhang, I don't think that would do justice to the building. I think we want to bring the balcony and let people come out. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not arguing the balcony. Yeah. I'm just so then we'll just we can panel the whole thing. Yeah, yes. just just the the way it reads is just kind of a continuation of the other I, clapboarded. I would agree. Area. I yeah. would I would yeah. panel I will panel the whole curvature. Yeah, and that speaks entry to me a little bit more. Uh, and I know there's cost involved. <laughs> I see you I'm like okay, you know, there, there goes you know, ten, couple, what, what's cost? tens of thousands more on the budget, but. It's well, I think at this point, it, you know, yeah. if we can put the shovel, that, shovel in the ground, I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who's buying that? Yours? <laughs> Ar Jeez. Architects love to yeah. spend people's money. Is this money. a three-story space at the ground floor? Like, is this lobby taking up all three floors? Is no, 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 no. The yeah. lobby is, is just barely about eight and a half feet. Um, oh, okay. The ceiling yeah, has gone. Yeah, those are units above the lobby. Yes, yeah. yeah. so yeah. that's, that's, that's the re that's the reason we have those balconies there. So they provide outdoor spaces for the uh, for the residential units. But I would agree that paneling that is probably uh, the most appropriate what about, treatment. What about uh, like, batten? Like what about bat batten in the front there? Board and batten. Board, board, board and batten. Uh, mm -hmm. Vertical spikes. I think the panel is probably best. What do you think? Uh, well, yeah, no, I mean, just styling rail, flat panel. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. styles rails. Yeah, yeah styling rail. So you have just a frame. Yep. You know, we treat the whole the whole curvature. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking that the the bottom row of windows. It would really be nice if it was style of what the what bigger houses in the area are doing now which is glass doors with you know with big panels and mullions so it less of clear glass that you talk, looks a you, little you're talking about the lobby front. portion yeah. yeah it looks a little bit like a commercial storefront sure um, if, if you which is mark i think you had suggested that mm -hmm. as an option to bring down a little bit of that so that there's less glazing mm -hmm. and a little bit more you know work so you're saying do take those two panels out on the side the glass panels and do trim there? No, you, I think you all you need to do I is wouldn't even mind if you kept a glass as long as you put in some yeah. lines that yeah. it was a, a, a window with with break up the glass. Break up the glass. Yes. Yeah, with molding. <coughs> yeah, 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 make them bigger. Up the molds. Make yeah. them bigger. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Chunkier. Which size? So Same amount of glazing. No, I understand. Okay. Two, four, two, you know, two, four. Oh. I think you need to play with the proportions. You got to do it and see what it looks like. All right. So yeah, the, and that the, row the, of Claire story windows around the top just isn't 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 right. Like that's not that doesn't. It, you you want to feel like you're coming into your one big house, you your one big you know lobby. The trend. These trends. Well, these. Yeah. The, yeah, we can. I mean, I, I don't want to tell you what to do. No, I mean, no, it's okay. Gonna, it's, we we want to make sure we're all going the same direction. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, we're not mind readers. But I think that's a really good idea. Like, because you are seeing that with the, the more expensive homes here, they're doing large panel windows. They're like, I don't know. They're doing large glass door, doors, entry doors, and then they're mm -hmm. doing large windows. You know, they're yeah. almost floor to ceiling, but they have like low <coughs> sills, but they're broken up. The mullions are there. It's not clear glass. Yeah. So, the commercial feel for the lobby is. I mean, you could look at it one we or could. two ways, you know, because that's where we want all the, the public to come in and inquire about the, the apartment. So you want it to be as open as you could, right? But you can also create intimacy. So if you, you know, we can reduce the sum of the amount of the glazing. And I think one way to, to treat that is to bring those panels from above, bring them down. So then it looks like that curvature is continuous from the top to the bottom. I think um, that's something to explore. Yeah, if you sure. do like some elevation studies on that, yeah. on that <laughs> but if, you'll probably see a few different options. Yeah, you'll, 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 you'll see. You, yeah. It's a fine line. You don't want to walk into a, this isn't an apartment building. It is, but it isn't. You know, it's walking into a, an apartment, resi a residential lobby that's partly yours, then you go to your unit. Yeah, um, you want to make it. Make it you want it to feel a little cozier. So I think maybe removing some of the glazing probably will help. Uh, one of the suggestions, I'm going to keep jumping in and keep us moving here, instead of the brick planters, the brick 
walls for the planters. What about considering New England stone? Soften it, change it up the, the brick feel and break up that heavy brick. And so that would be for the planters. For the all that down there, soft New England stone, a new element there. Um, it speaks to the land, natural or natural resources. I don't know. Like the field stone. I, I, the brick doesn't bother me, but I think it's heavy. The more it's going to be heavy too in the winter and stuff. But. We also have to be careful when introduce another materials then we don't you know they're not really clashing big then it might look mm -hmm. like we have too many materials in that so the way we kind of look at this plaza is our front door it's not the actual door where the lobby is the whole plaza is our front door yeah. right so. I agree. it's a lot of brick all right it doesn't bother anyone else all the brick yeah, I think it's just a lot of brick below the ground with like a lot of grasses. It seems like strong. I don't know. Yeah, have a stone we can we can talk mm -hmm. about. I mean, we can see it when it comes down. I like the layering yeah. of it. I mean, I like. Like a the, I mean, There's foxwood and then there's. Well, we could do there's benches. like a bluestone cladding. We could do a field stone. We could do you know, but then we will tell that that's not like a natural field stone. So yeah. There's like ways around that, but like there's other stones we veneers that we could probably look at for there, but then it gets. You know, still heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think tying it into the facade material is, at least in my opinion, is nice. Is, All right. Is, yeah. It works. I mean. okay. All right. I stand corrected. <laughs> well, you know, I think some yeah. of this is just the way they're layering. There is an opportunity to do something in the front, like have the brick in the front be similar to whatever the materials are and then have the brick be on the sides, maybe that way mm -hmm. it like, feels like it guides you. You're not? Yeah. Well, we should, well, I mean, I see what, what the revisions come back. It might f feel it might different. F yeah, feel, the things will change. So right. no need to change wanna, everything at once. Right. So, right. so, so that's it. Um, all right, what other comments we have? Um, so notes so. really quickly. Just uh, uh, the come plans. back to your brick, yes. just quickly. We did the brick planters around the whole building, yeah. basically, yeah. to bring down the massing size of the height. Yes. To weigh so it. So when you when you start putting other materials, you're getting now it's going to stick out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that's what we were trying to, to take smart. away. Yeah. That we were stepping back to use it as short in the building. Okay. That that was the only reason why um, we didn't use another material because it would just get so busy. I mean, if you want to put something in here. And try to match the stone on the rotary, but that might be tough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let it go. What are your um, the I had a, actually a hard time finding some of the plants that were listed on the plan schedule um, that were on you know in the plan itself. Um, I, I think it's it's just the clarity of things. Um, but if we could replace the hostas with cupera. Um, I think it'll add color year-round. Hostas are slimy right now, and then you don't see them all winter long, and I think that's like just an easy one-for-one -one replacement. Who, 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 which one? Can you place it with what? Uh, who, which, which one, you gonna, which one are you talking about? Hostas for hookah. Oh, this one. Uh, what do you, what do you recommend? Uh, hookah. Uh, I'm sorry, are you are smoking you? that? Coral bells. <laughs> <laughs> coral bells. Coral bells. They come in. Every color under the sun. They're like yellow or I'm purple sorry. or red. Hukura. How do you spell it? Uh, H E U C H. Hold on, let me. <laughs> uh, let me. I'm just spelling it right. Hukura. Uh, H E U C H E R A. Got it. Fine. Hukura. Yeah, no problem. Um, but I think that will just it'll add more seasonal interest. Um, and a deer don't eat it. Okay. Oh, that's what that's Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. Um, and then, so I, on the plant schedule, but not on the plant key, there's, um, you know, a few plants that are listed that I just couldn't find. Um, and I'm happy to just, like, I don't know, have a quick dialogue with the landscape designer because there's, like, Pakistandra climbing, um, Climbing hydrangea, I don't really see that anywhere, so I'm, I'm just not sure if the wrong schedule was attached, um, like no, having we, it in. Or we were using that in the back. Oh, you're using it in the back. So okay. on the planners. Yes. On the, on the, in that area, we were going to put it against the building. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I, I like it. I don't disagree. I just couldn't find it on the. Planners. So the, we have those 
So the back in there. Plant, uh, yeah. uh, those right there. Yeah, those boxes. Yep. Okay. Those two. All right. Yeah. Garbage. Okay. So I didn't because the plant, you know, it was just yeah, that's fine. looks like grass. I just I couldn't I couldn't find it. But I don't have like I think everything that was specked out um, there um, looks great. I wouldn't comment uh, the bollards. Oh yeah, the bollards in Congress yes. with the, the yeah. rest of the the design. I, I think that gets into these questions yeah. about you know it, it's got these traditional elements, a little bit of a mill aspect to it, but the these the bollards are these like kind of spaceshipy kind of yeah they don't have yeah. bollards. So you so switch them to whatever you want. Yeah. We, they yeah. they actually make this type of light that you could yeah. also use. Yeah, I think just a little bit more well, no, you subdued. Could, you could bollard. take yeah. the, the gooseneck and then make the gooseneck, you could put it outside also. Yeah, I mean, I think just if you want to keep it symmetrical. So I, I don't think you have to do the same, same, but I yeah. think it would be better if it was in a similar family of design. Bronze. So maybe the goosenecks, if we put them where we have the clapboard and then at the break we use something a little bit more modern? Maybe. 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 Yeah, same finish, be, perhaps, yeah. you know, if they're both black. Or could be a more bronze. engaged, uh, you know, response. Uh, so yeah. where we got yeah. this yeah. from was the, it, from your thing. So we've gone with the lights that the town likes. So if, if, Is we, that want, if we want a like? different light, then. Is that, that, that the like baller? No, this. Oh. No. no, I'm not going to do this. We're talking about the class. Oh, we'll change that out for you. No problem. They look a little spaceship like yeah, that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. 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 Anything no you recommend for the board, we can change it. Okay. So if you have something that you prefer, we'll do it. I just think a little simpler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it fits in the family. Yeah. Look at yeah. it as a family of white Of black. Something that you don't notice during the day, but what it. You, it doesn't show. you want it lower to the ground? Yeah. You want it lower to the ground? Uh, I don't have an opinion on that. I have just my opinion is on the, the style not being consistent with yeah, the other choices. You show them black and a black finish, and then that's good. good. But not that design. These are roughly two feet. That's it. Not that design. It's not even the design. No, not the spaceship. Less, no rings. Just black. Yeah. Nice from the top. What part do you think you should say? No spaceships. Alex, no spaceships. I mean, even something like this. Yeah, oh, that I love. Right? And this is beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. It's super modern. But again, it's super simple. Super simple. Right? There's lots of ones that look similar, right? Yeah, that you would have This is from the car wash. It's from the car wash. Actually, I use the car wash. wash. You just yeah. Yeah. For the twenty million dollar car wash. Oh, really? <laughs> right. it's been you, car wash you did the car that. wash before us? Yeah. Yeah. It's With a, the sunken thing? It's yeah. a Frank Berry <laughs> car wash. Seriously. Oh, come on. Yeah, seriously. It looks like a bonus. It looks like, yeah. Right. It's mm -hmm. Anything else on you? Um, yeah. We'll come up with something right. for you. Um, what a thought before the, um, this old King's Highway entrance, the entrance to the building. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a planter or something along the base of that wall there to break up that, uh, to I, I humanize can, the scale. I can, I can bring the same theme from the front to, the, to that side. Yeah. We can, we can play with some, that. I feel like in person that's going to feel. We'll, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll revisit that. Okay. okay. The entrance or the other one? No. It's, the it's entrance. Just, the, the entrance of um, um, the main entrance. On Old King's Highway side. That might be a little tight because, oh, what would you do? Right. I got 30 feet right. for right. parking. I was if thinking. I could get, if I could put a or like a planner's like I'm doing in the back. Do yeah. you have an issue with that? Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's great. Okay. Something to, to scale it down, the human level there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because the parking, right there. Go back for a Our parking is, I need okay. that. Are you doing what we're talking go, about? Go to, Wait. go to the yeah. page. Go to the King's Highway. Core, that entrance right there. No. no. Oh, do you there. Want, no, the King's Highway. No. No. Which entrance? Right. Yeah, yeah. go to the site This is, this is a loading area? Go to the site plan. But that's what I'm talking about there. Like something oh, up right, against right. the building. Yeah. Just consider something there. Ar Ar against the building. Yeah. Up against the building. Yeah, I feel like that's going to look Which good. Which one? SK100. I'm taking a vote. SK100, please. SK100. Yeah, SK100. Yeah, I'll tell you when you get close. Yeah, it's the first one in the public plaza. Yeah, I'd to humanize it. The one that's like There you go. Up, back, right there. It's the only one that's right there. Yeah. Yeah. So is that going to be pavers? No, that's concrete. So 
I, I think what, what the, the board is asking is to create a little bit of buffer between the loading area and the wall. Yes. Something at the base of that wall. Just a foundation planking or something. Let's see how much width we have. Here, here, here's the thing. That, that yeah, but this is all You're asking up against the building. Right? Yes. Yeah. So no. up against how much it is. Are you talking it's about it's up here? Right there. Yes. yes. Exactly. exactly. Here. No. No. Yeah. There. Where your, where your oh, gun okay. was. Yeah, right there. Yeah, we can probably do something there. Yeah, but it's going on to that property. No, this is our cook. No, they're talking about up against the building. We're talking about up against the building. No, no, we're talking about zoning. Oh, oh, oh. Says, Voting area cannot be in public property. Yeah, but this is not a, we'll, we'll work that out. Okay. We'll that out. If, they, if they, I don't have a problem putting it there, but if I'm going to push it this way, I'm yeah. just saying that we, we went to zoning sure. and sure. But yes. the issue is this is yeah. a curb cut. No one can park here regardless because that's a, that's our entrance to the voting area. Yeah, right. That's. Um, all, all I think we'll all we're saying out. is where the green clapboard meets the pay, meets the driveway. Put some here? look at right some kind of planting. Yeah. Yes, at, no, that, here. at that. I, that I, yeah. I understand. So no, I understand. Yeah. We want to do it, okay. and you, you just trying to hear, hear me out. So a 15 by 30 is what we got in that spot, and the town requires a 15 by 30 loading area. Oh, so I if, see. So if That's I put a planter, distance. if I put a planter uh, in that okay, loading okay. area, now my loading area becomes 29 Understood. by 15. Okay. I don't have a problem putting it in there. If zoning doesn't have a problem. Got it. That's mm -hmm. right. You're right up against your... That's, that, that's why I was trying to explain. I'm not trying to force you. It's very difficult. Um, that, that's you know, the, reason I was, the reason I was brought, bring, bringing up the idea of a paving material is I thought this is going to be a large amount of asphalt. And if your entrance to your garage was pavers and the loading was asphalt or vice versa, then you could differentiate the two and it would be it'd be kind of giving the message like okay, don't be a contrast or enter there and this is your little you know yellow yeah, have to go. Okay. Yes, Because that looks too inviting for double traffic because there is no differentiation. If you differentiate and then Okay. Um, the oh, last request to add to your list is uh, <coughs> for the landscaping plan. Could you have him articulate what plants are going in the back there? He's got a very comprehensive list. We don't know what's what. So if he could just identify those in the next landscape plan. Yeah. Maybe key plan. Oh, there's, thank you. I think they're there. It's I number, think they're is numbered on you the plan. Be they, are they are leaders for those plants. Uh, I got. Go to the close up in the back. You mean? Oh. Yeah, those. Back those along are, in here. That's the list. Yeah, but it's that's not the. I think that you're talking the, about this list. But it's not. That's not the list. That's the list that's on everyone that goes in the front. I've seen. I found that one really easily. It's the the page L one point six on here that you know has a bunch of other stuff that I just can't find. So, so I'm okay with all the plants. I just am not curious where they where they go. Yes. Okay. Key, key well, and quantity out to the plants either. So if you can just on drawing. tell me how Number many 12. and where they're going. Um, <coughs> that would be you, one of the things you're saying is that that back corner, nothing's identified. Nothing's it's identified in the back corner. Um, in the boxes. Yeah. So nothing's identified in the back okay. corner. Um, and then, for example, some of these interests is. Also, you know, he shows a ground cover, but I don't know what that ground cover is. Okay, so, right. you know, I'm assuming that it's, I don't know, prairie drop seed or a carex, but if, if it were, you know, but if it happens to be the Pakistander there, I'll probably be like, no, let's make it the carex or, or the prairie drop seed. So I just, it just needs to say what it is. It just needs to be, I know it doesn't look pretty, um, but just list. Sure. List identify what they yeah, are. Yeah, just identify where, what is where. That's, okay. that's all I need. Easy enough. He's going to have to do it anyway for the landscaper. Is there a way to have a form of fat favorable report having to do with the footprint of the building? I'm thinking about shipping his deadlines and, and trying to get through the permitting. He's going to go in front of the planning and zoning. Uh, if we can say that the massing of the building and the indentation of, and the location of the walls are something that the ARB is quite an approval that that's a step forward 
or do we wait for the rest of the submission with landscaping and other things to, to do that? So it's, I, I'm just bringing it up as a, because I, on the other end, will be the one looking at the zoning permit to just try to get this building going. Okay. So I just, I don't know exactly how you all feel about saying, okay, well, we like, we like where the facade is uh, staying, we like where the footprint is, uh, where the landing, where the building is landing on the site. Do we say, ARB looks as as this building massing as being favorable with details to be worked out with, you know, the, the windows, the colors, the brick, the, the parapet, the walls, whatever. But in general, in okay. terms of if it's where it's sitting on the site, are we, are we, well, we, or you? <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. It's helpful to you and your well, I'm, I'm wondering, Chip, in, ter in terms of your, yeah. your, your well, deadline and this your was, stream This, this is my plan. My, our plan was to come back. I, and I, we appreciate that you did squeeze this in. You know, I did, was in contact right. yeah, with you. Yeah, I know. You said, worked really hard for this, so I, I want to recognize that. Um, we plan on coming back on uh, December 19th. Yep. The next meeting, if you guys could put us on the agenda, yep. uh, we will have this completed for you, the changes, and then if there is another meeting, then there is another meeting, that's not an issue. I think we can wrap this up in December, right? I think But in the meantime, there's a filing deadline in yeah. early December. So we would like to get that in. You know, okay. we'd like to get our, 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 our application in for, for right. uh, zoning. Yeah, Irving so, is asking them to let us push the yeah, ball uh, while we're yeah, coming back yeah, to them yeah. to yeah. finalize those little little things. We still have we still have a bunch of drawings to do for mm -hmm. foundations and all that. I mean, this is just the beginning mm -hmm. of stuff. Well, we didn't include the engineering or any of that. Right, right. Well, that was done. a lot of it's all done. All that is gonna. Yeah, well, you, you were referring I mean, to the other folks. Flood elevation, all, we, all of this. I mean, we have yeah. There's a lot of things going. So if we can save. The building is pretty much going to be where it's sitting on this plan. Then we can start maybe looking at all the flood issues, all the other issues, sure. while you're going through your planning and zoning commission. Sure. You know, there's things that that sure. take time. So sure. I don't want to. I think the easy. Um, well, what's the main difference here? The the lobby is elevated, so we not we don't yeah. have the same issues that we had in the previous yeah, no, application. Yeah, so I looked at the plan. Everything's yeah. out of the yeah. water. We only have a couple uh, enclosed areas that are available to the floor. Okay, so you slope you slope the thing up and that is correct. Okay. So Harvey, if you need a, if you need a letter from me or something, I, we can do that. But it's on record. We're in the right direction. Yeah. I'd okay. really like to just go ahead to the November nineteenth meeting. I'll get okay. you guys a letter, right. and it sounds like we'll hopefully be able to agree on some sure. final details can, then. And if you could just sure. can you give us a letter with what we discussed this evening about? I will write you a formal you letter that, talking that, about everything we discussed this evening. I'll submit it great. into viewpoint for great. official Thank document record. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so we could get going and, and yeah. get this completed. Sometimes it takes a couple days. Yeah, that's, I'll get there, though. we know what you need. So. Okay. Okay, fantastic. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. It's thank really you. great to see you again. Great. Great. Thank you for all your input. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. It's been fantastic. Um, all right, last thing on the agenda tonight is the minutes approval for September and, and October. But um, we, did we get September, though? Hervé? No. We only got October. We got October. If you sign that, I'll take it back with me and, and we'll put that on the website. Okay. Um, everyone in favor of these minutes being approved? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Me too. Okay. All right, Hervé, these... Hmm? Okay. It needs an author, these minutes, Hervé. Does it have the author? Thank you. It does not have the author. Thank you. We can check right, Cheryl. She didn't, okay. she didn't write at the top? No. no uh, okay. It is 9.33 p.m. We're going to adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Bob.